bum 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 oh i can hear myself bum, bum, oh, no, bum, no, no, oh i can hear good. myself bum, bum. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that was, oops all right boom all right boom boom hello welcome everybody to the stream the wednesday stream where we play some some commander and this time it's uh a very 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 special stream. This is going to be the reu bleh, this is going to be the reunion of Commander Clash, uh, the Commander Clash crew of season three and or four as well. I'm not really sure. So joining me today, we got not just Seth, we got also uh, Mrs. Mulligan, also known as Jennifer. Welcome, welcome back. Hey, glad to be back. And we also have the return of MTG Radio, also known as Tom. Welcome back, Tom. Howdy, howdy. Good to be here once again. I'm so happy I get to see your deck list right now. This is great. <laughs> you can see all, that... all the degenerate things I'm going to be doing. Oh, boy. <laughs> so many treasures. Okay, let me There's a theme quickly here. swap in Pulverize. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go for Vandal Blast. <laughs> That's always a good one. <laughs> oh, shoot, Island. In oh boy. Uh, but yeah, this is this is a. Uh, it's been, it's been a it's been a couple years since we all sat together to play Commander. I think like more recently we we did we did like the collective voyage thing afterwards. But um, yeah, I think so. I, I can I'll boost voices if you, if anybody's quiet on on my end. I just let me know chat and I will boost them. On my end, and then it should be good. Um, Jennifer, could you say something? Just a test. Yeah. So I'm I'm reading chat as we go, okay. and it's nice to see you all. Hi guys, I see you all saying hi. So, hi. A boost How it sounds the better. Hopefully, Jen is quiet. Oh well, no. Well, that. Oh, I also can up my game if that will help. Uh, maybe a little bit. I I, I put you to two hundred percent, so that's all I can do. But yeah, hello everybody. I'm I'm all super right, excited to get this. Now is better. All right. It seems like we might be better. It's okay. been a while since I used this mic, so it was. <laughs> oh, not people set up are saying. Anymore. People are saying better. Perfect. Perfect. Even. All right. <laughs> Woo. <laughs> All right, sweet. Um, well, uh, let's hop into the game, and as we take our first turn or two, uh, we can we can go around the table, and uh, just like a little introduction on what everybody's playing. Or you know, you could keep it a total secret as well if there's like a hidden theme or something. This is a really subtle way to remind Tom to enter the game. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, if everybody can join, um, <laughs> Seth has joined, Jennifer has joined, I have joined. Here. Now, if everybody could hey, join. Hey, there's, I think <laughs> there's a lot of us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got it. <laughs> Took right. a minute there. Oh. Ooh, the gods have smiled upon me. I would like to go first. Ooh, I have the mulligan. <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, God, Sounds I have good. no Ugh. lands. Would oh. you keep a no land land tax hand? Yes or no? Asking for uh, snap, snap, keep. Are you mono white? It'll no. it'll be fine. Right. It'll be fine. <laughs> oh, that's a little rough, I guess. <laughs> uh, I have lands and spells. I won't do anything much uh, too exciting until like turn four, but it'll be good. That's like he's a key. I do not have. I do not have enough lands. I'm in a mulligan. Okay, this is when I get to remind Ew. chat that I have popped out chat and I am not looking at Tomer's hand. You're an honorable yes, man, here. Tom. I am. Man. I know oh, Seth right. is I just going to look at my screen. It's fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I got to know what's going on over there. <laughs> I think that might even this work to very... my advantage. I'm like, I, but don't attack me. I got nothing. And I'm like, like, I can show you. Look at my hand. Look at my screen. I got nothing. Please. This is a, this is a very competitive game. I, I got to get any edge I can. I think yeah. it would be wrong not to stream snipe look, <laughs> under these circumstances. If, if we're known for anything on Commander Clash, it's, it's being impeccable CDH players. So if, if, you, if you stumble even for a moment, that's it. You're out. Uh, this will this will work. So I can't um, wait to hear. I 
didn't know Sephiroth existed, and this card is bonkers, and I'm excited. What is this thing, Sephiroth? I, did you, what did I you am, bring to us? I, I am pretty excited, too. Sephiroth is the one Forgotten Realms commander commander that is actually on Moto. Uh, and I went kind of a different direction. Sephiroth, it wants you to mill cards in everyone's turn to venture into dungeons, and then when you complete dungeons, you get to reanimate things. You can't play, like, Lantern Control, like, mill-style stuff. However... <laughs> I was trying to figure out how to build Sephiroth, and I realized it works really well with the zombie tribe. Zombies has a lot of sacrifice synergies uh, that can get things into the graveyard on other people's turns. They have a lot of cards that can come out of the graveyard on their own, so you can keep sacking them repeatedly. So uh, so I'm playing Sephiroth Zombies, and uh, I'm actually really excited for it, too. First time playing this deck, first time playing the commander. Uh, I'm also playing Zombie Tribal, so... <laughs> Ooh, very spooky today. I think <laughs> our decks, our deck should be a lot different, because mine is an Esper, and I'm really built around, like, the, the, like, I'm built around the commander fairly heavily, even though it's Zombie Tribal, so hopefully our decks are still pretty different, even though we're the same tribe. I'm no. sure they will be, because mine is built with, like, really cheap big dudes, chipped, like, sack something that like if they stay on the battlefield or like communal upkeep or something and i just Ooh. use Giza to make a bunch of zombies oh yeah that that sounds very different that sounds spicy though i like that idea someone in uh is... someone in chat mentioned doing cycling cards with sephiroth and that is super cool and i had never thought of that there oh, are yeah, some zombie creatures. cyclers yeah yeah i have, I have some cycling zombies there's like fluctuator or something and you could like fluctuate a bunch of Ooh, yeah, you probably could build. Here. You probably could build like a combo version of Sephiroth. Actually, this isn't. Mm -hmm. Well, there might be some combos in the deck, but they're they're zombie combos. Yeah. <laughs> Very sweet. All right, we got two zombie decks, and then we got a Ruhan deck, which is let me tell you a blast from the past. Uh, Ruhan was in the very first uh, commander deck I ever owned, the Precog Political Puppets. So I'm very much excited for this one. Yeah, so this is um, one of my favorite decks I've played against of all time. It's built off of Sheldon Menery's You Did This to Yourself deck. Um, it's the it's the emblematic, or it's emblematic of the Rattlesnake philosophy, which is if you attack me, you're going to get hurt for it. <laughs> um, I love this deck. I've played against it multiple times, and I decided to borrow a little bit from his and then put my own little spice on it. Um, I figured I shouldn't bring a red green beatdown deck to this game. I was like, you know, let's let's experiment. There's, there's a lot of black at the table. I feel like creatures aren't gonna live that long. <laughs> I, I keep watching Krim cast like counter spells, and I'm like, what are these things? Yeah. What is what is happening? Counter spells that aren't putting plus one plus one counters on things is weird. So you're playing blue in the most Tom way possible, is what you're saying. I actually am. This is a very aggressive blue deck. Hmm. It's a four oh, mana wow. seven seven. Blast from the past question, Tom. Why are you yeah. tapping your lands? Oh, this is a great <laughs> question. So, <laughs> you'll. Uh, I don't know if you know this, but Commander can take a while. Uh, hmm. So to speed it up, uh, we're going to be utilizing what used to be the F eight key, but is now just the auto yield when not able to make a turn button press. Basically, we'll tap out. It leaves like it removes a two percent edge on doing something like holding up a counter spell but it also just severely makes the game go quicker which is really really nice that's true hunted horror Ooh, right so who wants since, friends? since seth and i are both on zombies, zombie I think zombie maybe buddies you could cooperate a little bit i'm not gonna throw the f word out there <laughs> but I, I i am fully on team zombies so yes i i'm i'm down the to be word. buddies <laughs> tomer no wow <laughs> Uh, well, I mean, I, I mean, I could have some zombies theoretically in my deck. I don't even know if, uh, uh you don't have as many as I do. You definitely that's, don't. That's true. That's true. Uh, zom zombie pails. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm trying really hard not to say that I'm in danger. <laughs> Trying really hard not to say the F word. <laughs> I love I love how like we immediately went back to the season three references. And some people in chat actually remember it too, which is just wow, that was wild. We, okay, we got so some this, we got some old timers. Yeah. We do. 
Thank and I'm about you. to introduce Tom no longer f 8 because he has Core Hayden oh, on the battlefield. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So, I'm just saying. You like, did this to yourself, Tom. It's here. <laughs> but at what cost, Tom? Um, now you have to press OK to everything. It is the worst. I hate this. <laughs> I'll just do this now. Cool. See? Zombies Synergy. cycling. Oh, yeah. no. I, so I think Popping that's off. definitely a combo with my commander. Popping off a Combo, series. right? Combos. That's a synergy. <laughs> I, I mean, tomato, tomato. If I have my commander, it ventures into a whole room of a dungeon. That's got to be a combo. So, Jen, these, these fools had a very long discussion about the difference between combos and synergies, and they effectively got it wrong every single time. What? So if you hear them talking about combos and synergies <laughs> for this whole entire game, that's why. Let's well, check out this combo. I have inspiring statuary, and I'm a treasure deck. So you and see what happened. The combo is that now I can tap my treasures to cast non-artifact spells. How how combo tastic is that? That's like a wombo. That's not even just a combo. That's a wombo combo. God, I oh, hate this so much. <laughs> so so broken. So, oh, so, so I Tom. used three lanes to cast it. So that's a combo too. Sorry, guys. Yes, yes, so, Seth. <laughs> so so what if what if we uh, against our better judgment had you on as a guest on that podcast? Uh huh. Uh huh. How would you define combo? <laughs> In synergy. If we were wrong, how how would you define that? I'm curious. So for me, a combo has to end up with the game ending. I think mm -hmm. that's just how that has to end up working. Okay. Uh, synergies are more about developing incremental advantage. What if what if you kill someone? That's still not enough. It's got to like literally end the game. Everyone except you has to be dead. So. I'm not trying to put you on the spot. No, no, I'm actually no, no, curious because no, 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 we okay, debated okay. this for like an hour and didn't get anywhere. This will get heated. <laughs> so, like, so like a good example is Four Horsemen, right? The classic mm. legacy deck, a vintage deck, legacy mm -hmm. deck. Uh, that's mm, a combo yep. deck. Eventually, you get to where you cast Emrakul and win the game. That's not a synergy deck. Um, Perfect Storm, combo mm. deck, game ends. Um, mm -hmm. Doomsday, I would still consider a combo deck because you cast Doomsday and the combo is you play Thassa's Oracle and the game ends. Like, those are combo decks. Synergy decks are like your classic Sam Black zombie carrion feeder special with slowly draining life from people. I would say that um, a good example is like uh, the current food, the current Jund food deck. That's a synergy deck. That's not a combo deck. And that is okay. a sexy Death Baron. Also weirdly expensive Death Baron, but a sexy Death Baron. Yeah, it needs more reprints. That's the thing. Was like, I think it came out. Did it ever even get a reprint? I know it came out. Like, oh, literally, it, it was reprinted in M19. I was like, it came out in LR. I feel like it's about time, but um, I guess it did get reprinted. And it's still expensive. Yeah. Maybe it's because Commander skeletons Rogers are love their cards. Out. Yeah. Yeah. The power of skeleton tribal. <laughs> <You'll> <laughs> Ruining see, like, the MTG finance market. Yeah, you're going to see a surge in, in skeleton <laughs> cards coming up by the end of 2021. Mark my words. Oh, no, I'm getting hit for seven. Oh, yep. this is this is a lot. This is a lot of damage. Yeah, no. I don't know, Tomer. Hey. Oh, 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 I could be. I could. I, I, you scratch Are my we... back. I'll scratch yours, Tom. Are we friends? I, whoa. I, how about, whoa, how about, whoa, how about whoa. Uh, allies? I don't want to use that oh, word. Okay, you're taking seven. Cool, good to know. What? No, but the F word is scary. <laughs> you know, Casually throws you can't out just the use that word around. We're going we're gonna to get demonetized. I know, we're going to like, <laughs> get This channel's getting taken down. That's three strikes. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to cast cast our big boy here. Oh, no. Uh, what does this do again? Right. At the beginning of combat on your turn, choose an opponent at random. Okay. You should be familiar and with this. And it smacks them. Richard destroyed us with this card. Um, oh, that's right. So uh, I was, Isn't there one that changes controllers every turn that is also like this or no? Yes, 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 yeah. yes, yes, yes. Okay. Corona the can false anyone God. except its owner. Monetization. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, yes, combo off, combo off with your treasures, look, Tomer. Look, I see your combo. I'm comboing over plus here. One, plus one <laughs> mana. Got comboing. Em. 
Um, <laughs> oh, does anyone have artifact destruction? I'm I'm a mostly black deck. Jen is a mono black deck. Tom, do you have? You got the Vandal Blasts or this week? I was so tempted to throw it in, but I'm a good person and I didn't. I do have <laughs> artifact destruction. I don't have. Well, I may or may not have. Who knows? Who's to say <laughs> how much artifact destruction I may or may not have? Look, let's not get too hasty, all right, everyone. We don't we don't have to come to blows. Um, let me just combo off here. Sorry, uh, what? I'm I am like a little nervous about. I'm comboing. This setup. I'm tapping the treasures for more combo-rific things with the statuary. So wait. Each Ooh. mana from a treasure spent to cast them. Does that work with tapping them and not sacrificing them through the sanctuary with improvise? I feel like it should. I don't know if it's paying or reducing. No, can help cast. Yeah, it I think it pays I... for one. Yeah. Oh, that... So the treasure wow. is kind of the one making it, but also is it just the inspiring sanctuary that's making it because of the improvise? I'm very curious to see how that works. Oh, uh, yeah, I cast a creature, Tomer, for science. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spend <laughs> Using your treasure mana. No. <laughs> no tap, tapping, tapping the treasures. Leave me alone. Oh, I think, uh, so uh, Matthew brings up a good point, or Matthew probably. It's technically statuary's ability, so it wouldn't be the treasures paying. Aww. I think that's correct. It's whatever. It's still a combo. I'll take it. <laughs> um oh, goodness. You want I really want this combo? Rolls I got way. a combo for you. No. Um okay, I'll just I'll just I'll just hang out, I guess. We'll hang out. Um nothing nothing scary going on here. Yeah. The two. scary stuff is definitely happening over there. I feel like I should start attacking you probably cuz I feel like you're You have so much mana. Yeah. <laughs> the number of permanents on the battlefield for each person, you are way ahead. Yeah, you have almost as much as the rest of us combined, honestly. Gotcha. Yeah, and I went first. One, two, three. That's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I've heard that before. <laughs> you know what? I'll just put a blocker on the battlefield, I guess. Wait, you know, it's. For science. Mm -mm. All right. Ooh, one. yeah, let's see it. Oh, they're being sacked. No, 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 no. Now I will improvise of this one. Okay. Two treasure, two two, uh, two counters or one? We're going to find out. I don't even know. Oh, that's a good none. one. None. How about because, none? So I paid I paid one <laughs> I paid one treasure mana to the Rakdos signet, and then I paid oh. one of them to the statuary, so I got none. Oh, so you correctly got none then. I thought it was a moto yeah. bug at first, yeah, but that no, actually this, sounds right. This is correct. This is correct. All right, so let's see. You want to see this combo? All right, we're gonna we're gonna combo oh, off here. Cabal oh, coffers, cabal coffers with with the two, two swamps. swamps. I love it. Yeah, yeah. So that that adds one one. Oh, it adds zero <laughs> mana. That doesn't do anything. It adds a negative it mana. Do anything for that's, you yet? On that's, second thought. That's a non combo. <laughs> that's what we call a non uh, in the business. Yeah. The, uh, non nonergy nonergy. Yeah. What what is a non synergy? Something like that. Uh, okay. Uh, anyway, I guess we aren't comboing this turn. Uh, I wanted to do cool things, but Cabal Coffers is such a bad card. Uh. Whoa, Cabal Coffers is a Whoa. bad card. Dude, you're going to take if those it was a, back. If We're... it was a swamp, I'd be so much happier right now. We need to close well, that. Well, the Urborg is that clear, silly. Uh, all right, how do we you, do You have okay. to play Urborg with Cabal Coffers. Then everything's a swamp, and it's really great. We all, all right, we'll still we can, we can still combo. We can still combo. Not as Ooh. easily as we wanted. Boom! Tortured existence. Oh, that Check this out. Sexy. One we... mana. Discard a card. That's so good with Re Zephyrus because it goes it goes to graveyard from anywhere. Master of Death returns what? to hand if I want it to. Get back my Twisted Abomination. Get a Swamp. Oh yes, now Whoa. we're in business. And now you have a and swamp now our Cabal, cabal Coffers. <laughs> Is going to make mana next turn. <laughs> we broke it. We broke it. <laughs> Did we break it? 
Torture actually... Resistance is legitimately really good with Zephyrus, though, because you can do it every every turn if you have the mana and just like keep cruising through the dungeons. Yeah. Yeah, instant speed is it's once each turn. So yeah, you could do it like up to four times per turn cycle if you have enough mana. That's cool. Still can't believe this was a common. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they don't make commons like that anymore. No, no they don't. All right, here is an old friend of mine. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that's some spice. Yeah, that's a, that's a bit of card draw. That combos with, with life turtles. <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> Gonna come over there, Tomer. <laughs> I'll stop, I'll stop. <laughs> <laughs> Someone puts it, it's synergy with S-I-N, and I think that's correct. Yep. <laughs> Oh no, that hurts! It is trample! <laughs> I can't even jump it with Kalein. I mean, you can. You'll save yourself two damage. Oh, I will. I will admit this is the uh, this is the most damage I've seen a hunted horror do in a long time. This is sexy. Two mana seven stone with trample. Still good stats in commander. Yeah. I have not seen a hunted horror in a long time in a game. I don't know if I've ever seen one in a game of commander actually. Oh, I freaking love that card. Uh, I didn't actually ask folks for, for the deck list, so I'll post I... it afterwards. Ooh. Okay, this is interesting. Oh, well, I'm going to let this Ruhan attack first, and then we'll make a decision. We'll post All right, All right Ruhan, Mom, who are you Tomer. attacking? <laughs> Me? Why Tomer, is he Tomer, Tomer, Tomer. <laughs> you got so many permanents. But I'm at 27. <laughs> All right, who's attacking? Does it help if, if my deck is uh, of lower monetary value than, than the average oh, oh it's sorry jen <laughs> the the b was Aww. not nice i mean i could have not attacked and we could have traded him but i feel like that would have been worse for me so eh. all right i'm posting a deck list now it's based on the backseat brew that i did on the sunday stream uh which was a 66 dollar claim unfortunately most of the cards from adventures in the forgotten realms commander are not available online so there were five cards i actually had to swap out and i didn't really want to think too hard on it so i put some like you know generic good cards not generic good but the, the treasure related but they're still very okay good. so i'm going to cast a card here okay because you know me i like mm -hmm. to tap out each turn i, thought, and I, I need everybody to give me some reasons Ooh, Ooh okay uh -huh. um <laughs> because uh tomer he has the most permanence well, still uh -huh. And and was at 27. Have yeah. I not been abused enough? That's, that's not zero, though. <laughs> that isn't uh, zero. Also, I mean, you are the guest on his stream, so it's only right that you give him the present. But if we kill him first, then it's that's, really awkward to showcase true. the rest of the game. Yeah, think about that's the viewer true. experience. You can't swap. Well, okay. We don't have an editor. Yeah, you got to gotta think about the viewers here, Seth. Jen, Jen has the biggest I like that creature. One. I like that one. Yeah. I do not. A creature is big as top. your commander, actually. So yeah. you could suicide your commander into a haunted horror. This so, is true. You know, I've said this haunted before. Haunted horror is going face. And... It has to be standing to. <laughs> Am I yeah, talking myself okay, into Seth, this? Is that how you. this is ending That's up? A good yeah, point. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> I should just get my mouth shut. Exactly. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm down with this. <laughs> um. This Gosh. is the quote unquote flair I added to the stack was <laughs> Stuffy Doll and the new Brash Taunter and everything else is exactly the same. <laughs> Seems uh, sweet. Uh, <laughs> eh. Hey, I'll block Tomer. I know. You should just attack this way. Um, I mean, you'd be dealing the damage to Seth, so you should think about it though. I need that's Kalina. As, I need Kalina as a chump blocker. That's that's where I'm at. All right, we're gonna do this. We're going to. Oh. Chat is not your friend right now, Seth. For some reason, <laughs> <laughs> they're always out for blood. Chat. That's what, something what? I learned. What? Chat. what did I? What did I ever do to Chat? <laughs> Chat's angry <laughs> the about cabal your cabal slander. Oh. slander. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna... uh, okay, that's that's fair. Still, if it had made mana last turn, I would have gotten to do something additional. We're just going to hang out. We're going to play defensive. Hmm. 
Sethy Dell. <laughs> <laughs> and right, right now it is. <laughs> Beautiful. It just needs a majestic beard on it, and it'll be set. Cool. Oh, look, look the synergy. This. Back to the hand. So now for three mana every turn, I can get a swamp. The power of Dirtling <laughs> over here. But then you can also venture if you get Sephiroth on the battlefield, too. Oh, yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're yeah, getting, there. getting there. Let's see. Uh, so do this. Make. Oh, wait. We got to play. We got to play the swamp first. All right. Do this. Yeah. Boom. All right. Cabal Coffers. Cabal Coffers. Now we're breaking even on mana. Pretty good. I like it. I like it. Commander time. Right. All right. Sexy. Good. And then uh, we get back this. We discard this. Venture yeah, into a dungeon. Okay. Hmm. The problem is none of the dungeons are very good. What's what? The... The, oh, the... So, many, so many choices. Tale of the Yawning Pit. It, it can do cool things. I usually, I mean, if you have a repeatable, you usually just go for the Mad Mage's one. Gotta be Mad time. Mage, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. Because yeah. like, that, I mean, if you make it all the way through it, it's end. pretty sweet. Yeah. I wonder how does MTGO show it. This is the first time for me, actually. Uh, it, it shows up on the battlefield, kind of like a token. It does. Right. Mad Wizard's Lair is sexy. Yeah. And you get to make skeleton creature tokens, which, if you have a Death Baron, would get plus one plus one in Death Touch. Exactly. Yeah, I'm touching my, I'm touching the temple of my head. Like that's right. I'm that's knowledge. But, I'm but don't much... play the deck I played against the other night, where all they did was seal other people's stuff and attack them with it. Don't do that. That's a very oh. sad thing to do. I've I've been on the receiving <laughs> end on that many times. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you okay. you might have been Voltroning those times, but yeah, I'm not gonna I'm not going to attack into the stuff you <laughs> down. Right. Oh. John's having it's... some mana trouble. I am. I mm -hmm. am using Necro to help, but I missed this one the last two turns. No, just the last turn. You just have to you just have to pull the trigger and do like fifteen Necro for fifteen. Yeah. Don't trust well, Tony. Half the life total. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my god. Let's oh, whip it up. Oh no. That's so much card draw. <laughs> and <laughs> life again. <laughs> This is oh, the fun insane. part about like bringing Jen and I back is we all just like have cards from like three years ago. It's like remember <laughs> <Yeah>. these things? <laughs> oh no! Now Jen, it is going to have fun. to fight. <gasps> zombie, I mean, zombie buddies. Zombie, we're, we're still zombie, zombie buddies, buddies, right? So we're good, and that means I can't attack Tom either, right? Ooh, because yeah. the damage would just go to my buddy. It would only be That's one true. damage though, because Stuffy I mean... Doll only has one toughness. Oh, the, the trample helps, yeah, actually. Oh, oh, it only takes... But you can oh, also So hit... if you want to hit Tom with Haunted Horror, that's... You can also I'm, I'm okay with that. That's, that's we'll fine. still be buddies. Yeah, I think that's probably the right play here. I'm so on I mean, I have the pro-black Centaurs, too. Yeah. I have the Centaurs that are pro-black, so I don't think it hurts me much. Uh... I need an... But they're not big enough to kill the Haunted Horror, which... Seems pretty decent. Hunt, Hunted Horror would be so bad if it made <laughs> pro black centaurs that were enough power to kill it. <laughs> uh, are, are all the Hunted Ones able to, to outmuscle the tokens they give? I, guess, I think uh, they all just barely do, yeah. And except for maybe the red one that has flying and it makes ground creatures. But I think otherwise, they all just barely yeah. outmuscle the tokens. That one's yeah. the best one. It's like a dragon and it has like haste and flying and it's just like boom. Well, Hunted Phantasm is pretty good because it has unblockability, if I remember correctly, but you give your opponent four goblins. So it's really, really weird. That's probably the weirdest one to balance. And it's it's big, right? It's like a four, six unblockable for three or something. Like, it's yep. actually pretty legit body. I think I remember you playing a weird Panharmonicon hunted deck that used yes. the curses. And it won, yep. I think, exactly one game, but it was freaking <laughs> glorious. <laughs> Yeah, that one game was so sweet. It's such a cool idea to like give your opponent tokens with the haunted creatures and drain them for it, but not easy to actually pull off. Right. No. Uh, the Sethi Dow. It's only doing one. 
I don't I mean, know you can I choose how much you trample choose. over. Yeah, we can oh. split it. That's fine. Oh, yeah. I mean, you could add more to it then. I that could send them all at best, but <laughs> I'm good. I am at 40. I definitely understand being attacked here. Yeah, that's correct. Like, <laughs> fine. <laughs> I'm not going to sit here and be like, well, how dare you? I needed that lifelink. Mm -hmm. hmm. With the Erebos is good. I love yeah. that card so much. It's in so many of my decks. Oh. Downside of this deck is I can't really tap down because I got to do this every turn. Yeah, holding up mana is the worst on Magic Online. All right, I so now we do that. I regret doing what I'm doing right now. <laughs> I broke me, me too a little bit with Necro, so I feel ya. <laughs> what are you doing? I, yeah, none of us can. None of us can. I, it might be a long one because no one can tap out this game. Yeah, my deck isn't supposed to tap out at all. That's how it's made. <laughs> so it's gonna be weird. <laughs> Look at this value engine. I am jealous of both of these decks oh, going off. Oh, scry one. <laughs> it takes a while for Dungeon of the Mad Mage to get going. Yeah, but look at look at the first few rooms. Yeah, but once again, Ooh. Runestone Caverns. You get to, you get to draw two essentially, and then and then uh, last one is you get to draw three and then cast one for cheap. That's you have to it. time it right though, because if you Runestone Caverns on somebody else's turn, oh yeah, you're SOL. Yes, that is very true. Probably shouldn't have said that out loud. Should that should have been an internal thought? Yeah, I should have. I mean, I could wanted to see that. I could hit instance, <laughs> maybe. It's possible. Hmm. I haven't I seen a core haven card in a while. I wanted to draw so much in this game. I am so excited. Ooh. Ooh. Hmm. You'll see it next turn. So get hyped. I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared too. <laughs> we'll represent all the colors of mana possible, and we'll play a mimic bat. Oh, very nice. Remember when okay. I told you it's just going to be a bunch of old cars that you haven't seen for a long time? <laughs> this is what's going oh, on. Mimic bat's so sweet. It's great. All right, we're going to do this now, so I can actually tap out finally. <laughs> Gotta start out of you really... some of these things. Uh, wait. What do F6 these levels do? My friend here. Target creature can't attack you. Ooh. Hmm. Could make sure the Ruhan doesn't attack me. Eh, we'll make the treasure. Anybody? Yeah, the treasure. I think it's just me. That's true. That lets me on your turn activate my well, yeah, torture resistance again. Oh my goodness. That's that's gotta that's gotta be a combo. Torture <laughs> it's gotta be. Is actually insane <laughs> with Sephiroth. That's yeah. I it didn't is, think about it is that. decent. Yeah. All right, you have a mimic fat, but I have a treasure, so I still can't F six. Just do it now. <laughs> Just can't can't catch a break. I gotta wait till the next turn at least. Who's taking the seven? Oh, apparently oh, you. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> you. All right. You. I mean, you don't have all to right. take all seven. You can block. Yeah, yeah we'll we'll take it. Cool. I mean, you could kill it. You could. Yeah, but then I you lose could, like, Sephiroth. Block. Yeah, but, uh, you, but you I'm have doing one coffer and you can recast it. With three swaps. <laughs> <laughs> so far, Cabal Coffers is not actually doing much. <laughs> now Cabal Coffers taps four mana. Mm-hmm. We're getting there. there. We're getting there. <laughs> Slowly. All right. All right, it's time to combo. Um, one. Yeah, Tomer passing all that mana up is Two. a little concerning. Three. Combo. Garna. It's much better when you have a lot of creatures that die and Mimic Bat isn't on the battlefield, but it still gives my creatures haste. That's true. It's also got Ooh. like a very punk rock name. Yeah, Blood Flame. That's a good and name. And it can attack Blood into my Stucky doll. Yeah, yes, that that is true. I really got to find an answer to this Stuffy doll, I think. Oh, 
Well, I'm working on answering the player for you, so. What? That that works. That works too. <laughs> 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 all right, all right. Then. this this madness must end i'm going to uh i could hit for pretty hard actually um i didn't hit you last turn that's true that's true oh will you not hit me this turn <laughs> <laughs> all right I, I'm, I'm gonna i'm gonna cast a spell and this will help explain uh where i'm at right now right um, the wheeling and dealing look i don't want to die all right <laughs> i'm willing to say whatever it takes um <laughs> let's improvise combo uh, uh, uh. that's a lot of mana <laughs> Boom. Good card. Ooh. Boom. Look, I'm fr I'm far away well. from the trigger, but there are tasty artifacts that I would like to acquire. Mm, oh, I have no. myself. I, I can't do anything about this. Excellent. I mean, I check my treasure, I guess. Hey, Tomer. What happens? Yes. I'm going to assume you're not going to attack me with that, correct? Uh, considering you have untapped you... mana and your deck is, you stated your deck is all about deflecting attacks. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to not do that. <laughs> um, that would be advisable. Okay. Um, yeah, that, that looks pretty good. That was pretty good. I, I'll grab a little. Tom does have the most artifacts, technically. I know, but he also has untapped mana. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't, don't want to mess That's... with it. Oh, uh, fair. Well, we're just going to keep That's cruising through this dungeon. I could take the Azorius. That... Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> what wow. you got to do. Wow, you really... Ooh. Uh. Aw. We're really flying through this dungeon. Jeez. Yeah. We're, yeah. We're getting there. This is a speed run. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mark it. Okay. Um Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna yoink. There it goes. Mm. Okay, Jen. Well, I told you it wasn't my plan at that moment, but you've changed things, so I can't promise anything anymore. Uh, does anyone have removal for this creature at this time? I do not in hand. I do not time, either. No, but I have to untap up and I can maybe deal with it. Oh. Okay. How does this card? This is such a weird card to read. A source of your choice would deal damage to any target. Prevent that we, damage. The target is the Smulligan. Reflecting SWAT. Oh, oh my we're just goodness. having an honorable, honorable passage. passage. <laughs> and Tomer's dealing himself six damage. That's what we're no! doing. No! <laughs> you gain oh, control of all of your own artifacts, so it's fine. That's so good. <laughs> oh, but I think when the Hellkite Tyrant dies, Tom can take it with the Mimic Vat, and then I'm really screwed. I mean, maybe, oh. but it has to die, though. I know. That's not the point of this. <laughs> <sighs> Tom, I thought we were cool. Well, Jen only has four lands over there, and you're attacking her with a six five. Well, I wanted the lifelink. <laughs> I'm just wondering if MTGO was going to crash. Oh. It didn't crash. Yes. Wow, it survived. All right, we'll put on our lands here. Also well, looking bad. All right. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I guess we're going to torture our existence. Are you going to venture into a dungeon there, Seth? <laughs> Perhaps. <laughs> I was considering, <laughs> considering some venturing. Um, hmm. 
Why is my mana so bad? Because you have a Cabal Coffer that not a lot of swamps. And the and the planes, yeah. Not exactly a combo. Let's just do this. Oh, you know, I can just take the Cabal Coffers off your hand. That's fine. <laughs> Cabal Coffers would be really good on your board right now. Yeah, it would be. I, I could use an Urborg. My Urborg would help a lot. Or my Urborg. Or, yes, anyone. Anyone who wants to play an Urborg, we will be friends. <laughs> no Urborgs here. Sorry. All right, do this again. <laughs> What do these yeah, do? This is, this is gonna get annoying pretty quickly, huh? It's annoying me a little bit, and I'm the one benefiting from it. <laughs> <laughs> the power of auto yield. Went for the the skellies. I don't think I have enough mana to cast the cards. No, that's true. All right. I guess that's it. Can't attack Tom. Can't really yeah, attack come on Tomer. In. No, no, it's fine. I guess I can hit. It can hit Tomer a little. Really? You can block with Zorn. You're good. <laughs> kind of want Zorn to be around, though. Oh, I know. You're probably going to try to combo with, with that Zorn over there. No. I don't have any combos. I just want to keep it around uh -oh. for the, the Hunted Horror The value. Block. No, Hunted Horror uh -oh. block. Oh. <laughs> It's only, it's only a little off the top. Oh. Skeleton tokens are classic, though. That art. Actually, I think we can do this. How many levels do we need? Two. All right, let's play this. Oh. Ooh. That, that's oh, only uh... a fair card. Mm. That card another good way to. Fairly. Another good way to put things in your graveyard every turn without I'm spending sure. mana. I'm sure. <laughs> Just for that, that's I might mill you, Tomer. Problem. Mill me, do it. I think I'm going to. Wait, you would mill yourself. Sephiroth's work. What is? That. What is? What is your? Well, but the creature I sacrifice will go to the graveyard anyway. Oh. So I can uh, technically mill someone else. I have like I have some. Yeah, just mill me. Do you have any good cards? What? What's? What's your best card? If I mill you for one, what would you be most disappointed? If I most hit. Most disappointed. Yeah. Something that drew me cards. <laughs> All right. When I get priority, we're going to see. <laughs> All right. We're going to see. <laughs> so last time I threatened to play the card, I was really excited, but I actually need to deal with this hill guy. Yeah, that, In a that way is doesn't put a problem. Under mimic that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is so bad. Ooh. Oh. We're definitely going to take that out of the graveyard right away. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's a not allowed in the graveyard card. Ooh, a rough, rough time to be the artifact deck. <laughs> it is kind of fitting that it's your own Hellkite, though, technically. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, I still didn't draw a land, so... Oof. Uh... We're going to use Necro a couple of times here. All right. Let's see if we can mill some Tomer card draw. Boom. I'm excited. Oh, it doesn't Let's work. See. What? It didn't... Hmm. It didn't trigger my Sephiroth. So it does say creature cards. I'm not sure if that's important. When one of our creatures put into your graveyard... Because tokens aren't oh. cards. Wow. Okay. So technically, yeah, uh, you got you got so me, Watsy. You, would be targeting you got me. Would be best. Yeah, that would have been better. I don't want that land. That's good. <laughs> yeah, no. You, you, you surveilled oh. Tomer one. We can we can be friends now. <laughs> now that I got that land out of the way, we're we're friends, buddies. Mm. <laughs> We got to fix this oh. land problem. So I think four will probably be enough for now. Now let's do some damage.
for K Gen. But why? You have the highest life total. Uh, yeah, and wrong. and the most Hellkites under Mimic Vats. <laughs> Also, most people can't hit you, but I can. So I'm doing it for the table. That's absolutely correct. Fine. Stuffy Doll's going to deal one to, every, to Seth. The Stuffy Doll's going to kill me. It may. <laughs> it's, totally it's, get, it's getting there little by little. It's trying its best. You know, it can only do as much as it can. Is... I kind of wish I had the old art stuffy doll. I don't know why I have this M13 art, but the classic just weird stuffed puppet sitting on the side is probably my favorite <laughs> arts. Hmm. Yeah, that art's Ooh, so good. Oh, you did one damage to your stuffy doll so I can hit you for one more. No, wait, really? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, that is not what I expected. <laughs> okay, okay. It was okay. already, quote, dead, so the trample went through. Well, shoot. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> I still didn't draw land. What the heck? I have a Whoa. lot of them. I really, this if is... I draw land, I'll help you out. You got Necro. That's unfortunate. You just, you just go for like 10. Go for the big numbers. I have 37 lands, which has been plenty in all the other games I've played with this deck. All right. Yeah, it should be enough. Pitching? Yeah, just go for, go for the big numbers. Yeah, go for like 10 or something. You're gaining seven each turn. Yeah, the life link helps a lot. Yeah. Want that one? I can probably let this one go. I think I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. I think I can let this one go. If you guys can't tell, I'm discarding the hand size. So. Hmm. But I guess I can. No, yeah. but we heard. I think the I think the reason we're not super concerned about Genya is that she's only got four lands and pretty behind on resources. Like Necro and Whip is definitely scary, but she doesn't really have enough mana to do much with those cards yet. So I think once she starts hitting her land drops, then Jen's gonna be scary. Hmm. How did you all meet? Uh, we all met for on Commander Class, right? Season three. That's how yeah. we met. Oh, Ooh, so how oh, how do we get Tom and Jen on Commander Clash? I kind of feel like I just randomly messaged and <laughs> just randomly like sent you a message on Twitter and email. I was like, hey, you want to do Commander Clash? And you're like, yeah. That is absolutely correct. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> okay. from what I remember, <laughs> seems, it was yeah. really just like, a, seems about right. hey, did you want to do this? And I was like, yeah, sure. It sounds great. <laughs> Yeah, I think I think that's about right. I think that's how we get all all, all the people on command. Pact of like, the hey, Serpent. How goes it? Oh, Ooh. that's a new card. Oh, yeah, right. Pact of the that Serpent's pretty not... cool, but mm. not super helpful here when yeah, I've got think... Necro. Yeah, you're pretty good on card draw. Yeah, Whip and Necro is pretty gross together. Should I take all of Tomer's artifacts? I mean, you can. I mean, yes. You can try. How could you resist <laughs> the value? I think I'm just going to pass here. That's pretty friendly. I really need a land. If I have a single land, then I can do something productive, but not yet. Oh, come on. Let's Please see where Ruhan's going. This time. Where are you going, big boy? I feel like Tomer hasn't gotten a Ruhan hit yet. Haven't I got enough hits, Seth? <laughs> Like but not from Ruhan in specific. That's true. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, there you go. There it is. <laughs> All right. This Ruhan's been very fair. It has. It's it's going right around the table. It really is. Look at him. Well, at least he doesn't have. I'm proud of this trample. Ruhan. All right, we got to try this again. This time we will correctly mill ourselves. Come on, creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this season of Commander where Krim has to interact with both Jen and I. I would feel so bad for him. <laughs> Come on, creature. Please. This is getting painful. 
Oh my god. Mm. Okay. Well, I guess this guarantees we <laughs> moved. I'm so close to the right room of the dungeon. I really need to get there. Yeah, my you You'll good. find what you need here. That's true. This should mm. this should put a creature somewhere on top. What stat from last season most surprised you? Uh, I don't know. They were all pretty, um, pretty, pretty uh, on the nose. I think. I guess maybe Richard winning as much as he did. I thought maybe maybe Seth stepped up a little bit on it. <laughs> no. no. Nope. Just, just <laughs> Not up. even close. And just keep cleaning house. <laughs> so, we did take uh, Richard out the first episode of this season, at least. How much Tomer died first? Is that surprising? Is it? I was surprised by that. I thought that that was like a narrative, but not necessarily the truth. But it was actually both. No, it was definitely, uh, definitely, <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, let's go into the command zone. And you can't take it. Hey, come on. No. Come on. I know you wanted it. Come on. You definitely wanted it, but. Fine. Well, if you had taken it, he would have access to his Hellkite again. So, I actually I think that's probably. Uh, I, I wouldn't have. Ac it would be. It would be lovingly in the graveyard, <laughs> and not threatening to um, to wipe my board. I probably would have taken it just so I could start developing treasure tokens. To be honest, treasure uh, is so good. Yeah, extra mana is definitely super nice. Uh, I'll play so, lands. Uh, Jen, are you ready for the next non sequitur? Yes. <laughs> Do you eat your cereal like a civilized person with milk? I will do both milk and dry. <gasps> yes. With or without <laughs> fluids? That oh, was the question. So goodness. typically, typically, if I'm eating a bowl of cereal, I will have it with milk. But if oh, I just it? want like a little snack, I'll pull myself like a small little bit and I'll just eat it dry. All right, I, I will accept that. That's that's as close to someone being on my no milk team as <laughs> as I've gotten so far. So I will take it. Uh, I knew there was a reason we were zombie buddies. <laughs> yeah, zombies they can't hold the liquid. Do you ever have milk as a cereal. chaser, Jen? Do you do you ever eat the the cereal and then you drink the milk afterwards? I probably have fun. done that at some point in my life. Yeah, you'd, you'd like I a shot. You like drink it shot. and then slam it down on your table. Yeah, uh, Jen, have you Just ever a little shot of milk? To, have you ever referred to milk as fluid <laughs> when you're eating it? It's in fluid. regards to eating it's it, it's literally fluid. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't be weird. All right, all right, fine, fine. all right, fine. <laughs> That's fine. That's all I want to know. Um, <laughs> let's make a beefy. Let's just make a beefy lannery. Captain lannery let's, storm. Let's you know you can it attack. Get... You can attack me with captain really easily. Yes. I'll block. I I'm uh -huh. hoping for that. <laughs> there. Yeah, send it See? over. Kalane did the thing. Look at that. There it is. That's not good. <laughs> this is my favorite thing in the world. I am. How do so I do it? I can't stop this puppy now. <laughs> <laughs> my bad politicking on turn whatever is <laughs> slowly getting me killed your politics have been great you've been popping off and you're I got okay. the, the worst i love this i so got the much. stuffy doll naming me though good <laughs> oh tomer how dare you attack me that's so mean fine i'll block all right <laughs> 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 Ooh, all right. And it doesn't have trample, so all five will go to Seth, right? Yeah. yeah. That is true. Okay. That's a combo. I'm getting down on the, I'm getting down on the Tomer not, range. It's not a combo. It's not, <laughs> not a, a combo. combo. Not a combo. If I died, would it be a to combo, Tom? <laughs> what if I was no. at five life now? No. Then is it, it a combo? It would go infinite. Okay. Infinite now, <laughs> what if it was Star, Star of Crash Extinction? Crash Taunter, Star of Extinction, I would call a combo. Okay. Because that's a full 20 to someone's face. Okay. All right, yeah. I can I can buy that. So far this is just synergizing and actively killing Seth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's 
It's definitely doing that. All right, save me for Xene Arena. Uh, I mean, it's actually killing you. But oh, <laughs> oh! Just mansplain Frexen Arena to Seth for a moment there. That is, I think. <laughs> I, um, I guess actually, yes. <laughs> All right, that's that's good. Uh, okay, so I think Frexen Arena might actually save me. Actually, um, we are going storm? to. No, not that good. Okay. <laughs> well, maybe I find a rooftop storm. It's possible. Ooh. Boom. Necropus? Discard. Venture into oh. a dungeon. The last room. Dun, dun, dun. That's a the good room. Advantage. From the graveyard. Oh, God. It's also uh, your, your commander's thing. Those are not very good. Hmm. Do I even want to cast these? Wait, okay. Two, three. Oh my god. No. What a waste. <laughs> uh, what are the cards in your deck? Okay. Like what none of this is well, I don't even see Oh them. what a what a disaster. Very complete. I no, I Yeah. I chose not to cast the ones I could cast. Oh that's oh, that's awkward. Well you, you cast it for free? free? You had to cast one of them for free, yeah. You still drew three cards. I and, still, it was still decent. And you put a twisted abomination on the battlefield. You're doing fine. That's true. For I mean, a that second. part's technically Sephiroth, but yeah. All right, we got to do this. I think. Oh, also painful. Just, but oh, that's fair. I gotta get rid of the stuffy doll. Oh no! I should have <laughs> tapped the to. stuffy doll. No. Uh, uh, fine. Ah. Uh, do I want to put mimic? a stuffy yeah, doll under please. a mimic vat? <laughs> oh, shit. No. Oh, please, no. no. Please, no. <laughs> oh, yes, I do. Yes, I do. I'm down oh, I that. thought I finally got rid of it. <laughs> never. You can never get rid of anything with a mimic vat. Ever. Uh, so excited. Oh, dear. That's <laughs> not good. It's never going away. <laughs> I think this might be the actual goal of this deck, like to do this, <laughs> to just make it so no people. one can ever attack you ever again. Jeez. And you it's, get to choose a work. new person I... each time it enters the battlefield. It is working. So you could technically kill everybody with the same stuffy doll exiled. Yay, Hellguy Tyrants in the graveyard. I don't have to die. It's going to keep hitting yes some... until the thing I want is under here. You need some card draw, Tomer, I think. I, the deck is, is filled with card draw, but, you know, sometimes you don't hit it. Several people in the chat like Dry Cereal. Dry Cereal is fine. I, my, people, my, people beef, culture. my beef was saying Cereal <laughs> with fluid, which <laughs> is, a, is a sentence that should never be uttered. <laughs> <laughs> That's just, I mean, it's not <laughs> solid. That just that one just rustles my jimmies. I don't know. I can't. I can't concentrate. I can't. I can't look you in the eyes Seth, if you say cereal ooh, fluids. Ooh. Someone just said cereal and whiskey. I can imagine um, cinnamon toast crunch in whiskey would be fantastic. I've never. Yeah, I've never tried, tried that. that. I might have to. I might have to try it. It sounds really good. So it's one of the things I drew <laughs> off my Mad Mage, but. It didn't seem worth rathing away. No. Yeah. Did you did you hit mm. the toxic deluge off it? Um no, I drew that for my turn. Oh. <laughs> but then you got rid of the twisted abomination as well. Yeah. Oops. Since I'm zombie tribal. Oh, come on, the field of I'm the I'm blah. zombie zo zombie tribal. Ah. Yeah. It's yeah. a zombie card. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, and we can tap out. We don't get a tortured existence. Finally, your Life cabal coffers good. are being put to good use. It's making zombies. <laughs> this is the worst cabal coffers I think I've ever played. <laughs> it's when we're on turn seven and it's still not it's really making you, mana. It's because you cursed it at the early game. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's true. Deck. I, was, I was too mean to it. And now it refuses to reward me with black mana. Um... Hopefully, 
Oh, did I forget Urbori? That would be embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's in there. We're okay. good. We're good. It's in there. I just That's haven't good. found it yet. That's good. So here's my card that gets so much better with Seth playing with me. Ooh. Ooh. Zombie Favorite. buddies. Yeah, that's, that's a, a good nice one. old school card. Just a casual 7-7 seven, seven with lifelink. All right, and then we're going to... So since chat was yelling at me about not necroing right, we're going to do what What do you want, 15? I don't know. Uh, 37? No. Not quite <laughs> Double or nothing. So, so what context is fluid okay in then, Tomer? If fluid in cereal rustles your jimmies, like when when I don't know, like thermal supposed to speak fluid. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> if if you're talking about it in a scientific manner, I think fluid's fine. <laughs> I got you. You know, when I you're talking you. about the, the, the forms of matter and you're like, <laughs> you know, fluid, solid, gas, and the other one. Plasma. Then, then it's acceptable. Well, so chat has given us Miriam Webster's definition of fluid. It Does it involve cereal? Such as a liquid or gas tending to flow or conform to the outline of its container. Hey, gas is a then fluid, guys. By definition, mm. milk is a fluid. Yeah, uh, someone said that. Thank you, Miriam. Yeah, milk is a colloidal suspension. This is what I thought the answer was as well. By the way, <laughs> it's a colloidal. What? <laughs> I I refuse yep. to look up that word. That's fine. Chat, chat. Let me know what that <laughs> word means. <laughs> I have had rum chata, Maddie, and it is so good. All right, where was I at? I am going to draw 10 cards, and so we have cleanup steps. So we're just going to move along. I'm jealous of all the cards. Are I'm off. just going to throw stuffy it all out there then. Just, you know, for giggles. Oh, come on. And it has oh, haste. Wait. It's got haste. And we're going to deal hey, gen extra point of damage. Nothing else I could do this turn. <laughs> I would still hit you with the trampler. That's so much. I'm, I'm aware. Me. That's why this is happening. I've never <laughs> had to change my headlight fluid. Is that a common thing? Wait, headlights have fluid? No, they oh. don't. Jesus. Oh. Jeez. <laughs> I got God from the easiest dad trick in the book. Air. <laughs> <laughs> all right, fine. You got me. <laughs> it's been a long day, all right? <laughs> I know, like, that's classic, like, dad joke. <laughs> Ouch. All right. Let's go to my cleanup step. All right, here we go. What am I going to draw? Woo! Oh, goodness. So many things are happening at once. Mm -mm -mm. I'm surprised Moto's surviving the stack. Don't jinx it. Yeah, Nothing. that's... We're only on for the record. Seven, that we... was oh, that just was like my Mike ball coffers about playing this deck that I'm playing was that it wouldn't work on Moto. <laughs> I was like, so the cards far, are so a bit it, too confusing like. at times. Hmm. <laughs> it even survived honorable passage, which I've never seen cast before. So, <laughs> yeah, it used to be a common. Um, oh, what is that? The, the two mana artifact exile a spell. Like, you oh, would have this Scepter? and Orm's Chant in the same deck. Yeah, Scepter. like Scepter Chant. Okay, yeah. yep. Ice Crown Scepter. Yep, Ice Crown Scepter. Oh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you beat that. Scepter Chant is kind of hilarious. We were just it's... talking about my stream. Like, they don't make those brutal prison pieces anymore. Like, what do you think, like, modern arena-era magic players would do if they... They printed like a blood moon or like an ensnaring bridge or something like a scepter chant lock or stasis into standard. I, I think people would lose it. I don't think kids these days. I don't know how good they have it. <laughs> There's no no stasis, oh, no, no stasis is locking them out of playing magic. Back no arms chants and scepters. <laughs> it was uh, it was pretty obvious they were never printing stuff like that. When I remember in Shadowmore they printed a card called Ward of Bones. It's probably one of the worst artifacts ever printed but they were like here's another control piece and it's just the worst card and it's like yeah we're not doing this anymore are we um, and it's like seven mana or something isn't it yep. it's like super expensive yeah super super expensive. Expensive. once it becomes like counter magic becomes too good and like you know you winter don't, orb you don't yeah winter orb and standard 
I just want them to fake spoil it so I can read the reaction on the MTG Arena Reddit for one day. There's like fake spoil winter orb for standard. I just want to see what people say. Just make an a <laughs> make a make a put it all online and make a arena event where all the stacks pieces have free reign. That Ooh. would be fun. I would play that. Just I would be done with that. Mirrors all day. Yeah. Getting smokestack builds character. Exactly. See, see, you get it. <laughs> it's like a rite of passage, like... really. They could probably print something like a tangle wire again. I think I don't even know if they'll print ghostly can prison. With. Can they print ghostly prison, or is that even across the line these days? In, into like standard, I know they reprint it for commander or whatever, but I almost feel like that's too much for players today. Last time we had a ghostly prison was like I think it was screw safety in Ravnica, mm -hmm. like Cost yeah. five six years ago, like eight years ago. Well, the and you had to kind of be an enchantment deck. Like your Revenge of Ravens kind of effect. With you like just your, take okay, damage. Yeah, or you just little attack, little, but you take little... damage. It's... But it doesn't yeah. prevent you from attacking. It just like pokes you a little bit. It lets you do it. It just hurts you a bit. Yeah, yeah. A, little off the, a little off the top. People are okay with that. Zombie Trailblazer has sweet art. That is a, oof, that is a lot of, of zombies. Even death. Oh, that's sick. All right, we're gonna we're gonna see if we can draw a card here. Sorry, draw 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 a land. I just really want a land. All Your right. boy wants a land. Man, yeah, Tommy hasn't hit a land in a while either. This could have been interesting to see against a green deck. I know. <laughs> Not the right <laughs> play group for it tonight. <laughs> I'm aware. <laughs> nope. Not here. As it should Wait. be, honestly. There's no green at the table at all. Yeah. We're that green is... today. It's not that very common. Is rare, yeah. Yeah, because I often play green Mythic, too, even. also. <laughs> and I usually always play green. I'm a cultivating Kadama's Reach fiend. Yeah. Oh, what do you think about uh, people saying that cultivating Kadama's Reach is overrated? Or not good in Commander anymore, mm -hmm. rather. Oh. Mm -hmm. Are people... I... Are people saying that? That's I think they're incorrect. I would be surprised. Do I have it? Still turn? solid. Hmm. We should uh, should do a podcast on that. Yeah, because that's wrong. <laughs> that's patently that's gotta wrong. that's gotta be that's gotta be wrong. I didn't even put that's we, we actively had, incorrect. We had a, a podcast uh, <laughs> about that, and uh, let me just tap these actually. Um, like everyone has the same answer. Even... Yeah, people are allowed to be incorrect. That's fine. Yeah. It's their choice. I didn't even put it up there as an option because I didn't think it would be a, like a real thing. All right, Colleen's back. What would the argument even be? Just two mana? You got to play all two mana ramp? Yeah. Oh. Um, Colleen, you do the I thing. I think the the access that it gets you to persistent land drops is too important. Like yeah. being able to play it. Like if you only have three lands playing Kadama's reach on three on your fourth turn means you get to five, no matter what it's, it's too important for, I mean, we're kind of smoothing of draws. We're kind of seeing that play out this game. Like I think either mm -hmm. you or Jen would, would have loved to have cast a Kadama's reach oh, <laughs> at any point in this game. Yeah. Oh it's my amazing. goodness. Halkai Tyrant returns with haste. No, it's it's tapped though. I can't attack this turn. Oh. Oh, that's a small relief. <laughs> <laughs> I'm basically I'm I'm dying. Tomer, don't, don't kill me. How am I killing you, Seth? Uh oh, Twiddle. So Tomer, <laughs> do you think I'm gonna do it? I mean you can. Are you you're leaving it in the graveyard? If you want to take Kalein, you can take Kalein. Oh, oh, this is tempting. Oh, a chance to <laughs> nab a commander. Oh boy, no that wait, doesn't then happen doesn't it much. change zones again, and it doesn't matter. I don't know. I don't know how it works actually. Hey, chat, how does this work? <laughs> chat, help me. Do you want to? Do you want to change? <laughs> risk losing the stuff? I'm using dog. my lifeline. I have the most clock. Phone a friend. <laughs> Won't it go to the command zone anyway? Well, you have to choose again on exile. Choose again on exile. Okay. Sick. I thought so. so. Uh, Stuffy doll it is. 
No, we're going to keep the stuffy doll. It would mildly inconvenience me. At least someone was correct and said no idea. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> They're like, you hey. know. <laughs> don't Good ask pack. me. Chump walker activated. Do I want to improvise this? I do not. Let me just cast. Let me just cast it. Let me just cast it. Moto, please. Is Moto breaking? Let me just... Did Moto break? No. No. Okay, good. I I clicked cancel, and now it's just... It's now just lagging. This is a bad omen. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know what's yeah, happening. My... I think Kalein's going to be cast soon, hopefully. What are you trying? Oh, you're trying to I cast I just tried to cast... I, I, I tapped uh, a Bloodfell Caves and a Swamp uh, for, for mana, and then I tried to cast Kalein. Um, oh. and uh, now it's saying pay it has it floating and you have to pay black red slash improvise and then I just went and I cast Kalein and then I press cancel now cancel's grayed out hey there it is there hey, they are that's Welcome fine <laughs> Motor's really got there? along it's fine <laughs> didn't, didn't, uh, didn't get worried for a second Mona likes to keep us on the edge of our seats. Yeah. She really does. Oh, clain has got haste. Clain getting in or is it going to block a 7-7 seven, seven with lifelink? I'm going to block a 7-7 seven, seven with lifelink. That seems good. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> like... <laughs> Just saying. I don't think it's fine. Oh, boy. Need a wrath again already. I feel like I just wrath last turn. You did. Oh, all right, Arena. What if I just give me something some good instead? Ew. Are you gonna pay it? You gonna pay the one? <laughs> I don't even know if it's worth it. Yeah, I guess. Oh, someone asked, where does Moto come from? I know the answer to this. I'm assuming, Ooh. Seth, you probably know the answer to this. I also I also do know the answer. But what is the answer, Tom? So Moto actually comes from the original version of MTGO. It was called Magic Online Digital Objects, I believe. Is that correct? <laughs> yep. Yeah, that is exactly correct. Mm. Yeah. And people, some people still call it that. Mm -hmm. When did they make the change? I've only known it as... I want to say either V2 or V3 they changed it. A long time ago, yeah. Yeah, it was a while ago. They're trying to get people to say Mitgo, which I think is finally caught on mostly. Mm. But there's yeah. been a lot of people who still call it Moto. I think what they're yeah, trying to make... Yeah, I think old-timers still go with Man, Moto. I can't yeah. believe you fell for this. What? Unless Trish you did it on purpose. <laughs> what? I said hi, Monster as an old viewer. Oh, How confounding that you did this. Oh, but he gets to play it next turn, I guess. Yeah, it turns into a bounce land zombie? to trigger my field of the dead. It's yeah. like a combo. Wow. Thank you, there Tom. We there we go. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, he hastily taps a couple of coffers to float the man. Uh, <laughs> yeah, use that coffer as I got the swamp. Yeah. Uh, all right, so let's see. This... Let's play zombie. You're not attacking me, are you, Tomer? This you wouldn't not... do that. What the heck? That's kind of a cool zombie. Four mana, four, four. Uh. Whoa! I wanted, I wanted to say it's an old school one, but it probably only came what out What the like heck is this ago. thing? Yeah, this thing is nuts. Yeah, it was like from one of the commander decks one of the at older one point. Ones, I want to say, too. Like 2015 or something. Is it Tom that is not stream no, sniping Tomer's like hand. 17 or 18. <laughs> he he popped out the chat like a responsible boy. I can I can say with confidence I don't have anything interesting going on in my hand right now. I didn't think so. You have exactly one card in hand. I wasn't super worried. <laughs> I'll give you a hint. It makes treasures, which mm. doesn't. Is it really brass bounty? It makes treasures. I would love to be correct if it's best. <laughs> that soulless me. one's already at 11 and 11. Goodness so me. Because Seth is it. 
zombie zombie buddies. Jeez. Yeah, that's we're we're good friends. Oh, Ooh. No. oh, oh no. That's actually kinda good. Oh no. Jen said friends. <laughs> I didn't mean it. Oh, the I F mean oh, it. oh I missed I, I was still seeing my looting. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I stopped like halfway through the word because I caught myself. This won't end well. I'm sorry. <laughs> I just imagine every single time the F word's used, it's like the Kill Bill music just starts playing. That ding, 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 ding. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, I'm getting hit for three. What are you doing, Seth? I I'm called you Richard. I need to. I need. <laughs> I need to trigger my Verena. And he can't exactly cards. attack. You know how it is. Solus one, and he knows I'm gonna block with this. With a yeah. freaking stuffy doll. Stuffy doll naming Seth, of course. Funny. <laughs> I know how mimic that works. Solus I'm won't wise. be able to block. It has death touch to a trade. Yeah, but zombie buddies. Mm. Um, hmm. Well, okay. I guess we discard that. This isn't going super well. Oh, says the person with five <laughs> cards and. And 66 cards in the library. But only you know how many cards life. I drew? I, I <laughs> net drew none. I cycled with unexpected windfall. All right, Seth? You're living it up with the card draw, venturing Actually, through some dungeons. All right. I, 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 okay, okay. Maybe it's not going that <laughs> Meanwhile, I, I top deck lanes and I play and I hope for action. All right. Ooh, Seth, has so much right, mana. Seth? Yeah, it's so much Ooh, there's mana. there's the coffers. I'll make more okay. of it next turn. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, now we uh, now we have Jen with actual mana, which is yeah. now this is gonna get scary. Yeah. Like lifelink yeah. necro and mana is a little scary. I am scared. Yeah, it, it's about to get pretty <gasps> scary for y'all. Um, so uh -oh. hold up a sec. Uh oh. <laughs> uh, yikes. It, it's not super budget though, Tyler. I had to, it. It was based on a sixty-six dollar list but then some cards weren't available on moto so i threw in like hellkite tyrant and there's a gold span dragon in here too so i upped i upped the budget dramatically with five cards <laughs> but like there's a reason gold why span is like, like expensive yeah i'm pretty sure my is deck is like 57 or 67 tickets i'll look hmm. when I, it's not my turn it, mine is weirdly expensive but that's just because it's I never, whenever I get like a, like a fetch land or a original duel, I just never sell them. Yeah. Once it's I so, have exactly one, you're good. It, it's, <laughs> it's so weird to see like people who have, who have like been playing commander for a very long time. And let's say like they pick, they made a deck like, you know, 2011 or something like that. Uh, I, I started in 2011 with political precons, the, the first commander preconstructed deck. And mm -hmm. one of the first things I added to it was um, Gilded Drake. And I remember to this day thinking how expensive Gilded Drake was because I spent $10 at the <laughs> game store for it. And I was like, holy moly, like I'm spending $10 for a single card. That's actually yep. insane. Like most of my cards are like, you know, a couple cents. And then I'm spending $10 for one piece. I had to need 100 cards in my deck. One card is $10. That's insane. But I did it anyway. Um, and yeah, I was just looking at the prices these days. It's bananas. Because that card is like over $300 now. Oh, Jen, why? Yeah, I remember when I first spent $6 on a card. Hooray! I was like, man, this is really expensive. Uh, yeah. I can't have Jen gain 12 life day. here. That's a bad idea. Do you, Necropotence do is you... trouble. Do you still have the six dollar card though? Because that Gilded Drake's probably that's worth hundreds of dollars. Do you still have the Gilded Drake? Tomer? Oh yeah, I've never taken. I never took apart my Zedru deck. So wow. I also oh. had I had a Plateau uh, in the deck. It was gifted to me, um, and I think it was twenty or thirty dollars when it was gifted to me. I don't know how much it is now. It's it's got to be hundreds. It might have been a even couple cheaper. hundred at least three hundred. Yeah, it was it was also like 2012 or something when it was gifted to me. It was not that bad, but it was it was really expensive for what it was. It was like, you know, like you could buy you could buy a precon, or you could buy like almost you could spend almost as much as a precon to buy a single card. And I was like, wow, that's wild, you know. <laughs> now it's yeah, like I, a year's worth of precons to get a single card. Yeah, 
It is. I, I, I remember getting a Gilded Drake for my Thraxi Moondar deck, which was like my main deck for like, I want to say seven. No, I traded for it. Like actual binder to binder trade. I was like, this card is cool. And then I finally broke when I was able to sell a, I was able to sell it for $80. I was like, that's nuts. There's no way they're not going to reprint it in the next set coming up. So I was like, eh. But it, then I realized it's on the reserve list and I was wrong. Ah, the reserve All right. list. Let's uh, do this. That could be a podcast like, topic. Oh, boy. Oh, that, All right, that'd be Tomer. a good one. Yes. You're welcome. Yay! <laughs> Car draw, finally! Think about that. Oh. oh, Tomer's uh -huh. going to win. This is bad. How am I going to win? <laughs> the only thing, reason you weren't that... that I can't nice. counter it, no. I'm okay with this. I can't get rid of the Hellkite. I'm totally fine with you getting rid of the Hellkite. Honestly, the... I... I if you, ugh, if the only reason you weren't scary is you had no cards, and now you do. <laughs> sure. I mean, I, I hope is... I get to do cool things. <laughs> I'm really sad. <laughs> I chose to play Giza over my jet medallion last turn. Oh, that's And now my jet medallion good. is gone. All I had in hand was a Brass's Bounty, so I was going to make, like, more I knew treasure. It. Cold shot! <laughs> yes! <laughs> you got it. I was like, I could play Brass's Bounty. I'll make even more treasures. But first of all, I have no mana to spend it on. And second of all, if I class Brass's Bounty, it doesn't matter if I have zero cards in hand. I'd still be I am really waiting. sad this ends my turn. That's hilarious. Because there are so many more things I could now do, and I'm a sad boy. All right. <laughs> this card is terrible. I should have taken it out of this deck. Darn it, Sheldon. <laughs> What are we going to do? Why are you do? playing this terrible we're gonna, spell? We're going to start with uh, a looting. Does Tomer win? No. I wouldn't think oh. so. That's good. I'm not, I, don't, I don't have any combos or anything. Like, oh, wait to win the game immediately. Anyway. Uh, I mean, lots of mana and hasty creatures is technically a way. That's true. I mean, to be fair, everyone drew up to seven, so I feel that's a very even thing to do. It It is very fair. I definitely appreciate And I drew a couple of hilarious cards. It also brought the Solus one down to a 7-7, seven, seven, so you're welcome, I guess. Oh, the graveyards, that's right. I got rid of all my graveyard zombies. There are quite a few zombies. I'm glad I played the Master of Death instead of leaving in the graveyard. Oh, I, got to, I am too. I got the combo some more. <laughs> Read the bones. Yeah, yeah, I'm at 16. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. Tomer. Whatever. <laughs> Tomer found all the card draw finally. <laughs> I know. I said I have a lot of card draw on this deck. It just did not. All right. Okay. Okay. Um. Let's also cast. Do this. And play this. Play this. Uh huh. Pretty scared right now. Not gonna lie. It's a pretty pretty fair card. Uh, play. This is a card that I feel like Tom would enjoy. Ooh, this do? Okay. What do we got? Is it Mass Hysteria? Let's go. <laughs> hasty <laughs> Steppy Dolls. Hasty. I guess it already is. Let's have fun. <laughs> uh. Let's make it. What is this? A zombie card and draw. Maybe we'll make it a little bit bigger. Uh, let's let's make it a little bit. What are, are we you making doing? bigger? Yeah, now I'm concerned. Must be an ex. Concerned. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> this is really really bad bad so Hello. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, this card is awesome. I'm all the way in. <laughs> It does That's things. There's hilarious. synergies, layers. It's a badger dinosaur. Yep. Who could be angry at this thing? Yep. <laughs> also, I would I have like never guessed. Platypus tail. This that is, is a sweet not... card. Yeah. There's no way I would have guessed this was the card in your hand, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
<laughs> it's a staple. I don't know. <laughs> um, yeah, you so know, this... Surly Bagetor. Next, you're going to play Riot Ant or something stupid. Yeah, I'm just kind of... Uh, I don't want to get rid of the stupid Verena. Mean. I need right. I need my card draw, Tomer. I know. Tomer. Yeah. Tomer. You keep hitting me. I hate you for like one. <laughs> I don't know if this is a... Oh, okay. That's that doesn't. <laughs> that's just Are more you card actually draw. trying to kill yourself? What no. is happening right now? I need to draw cards. You're at um, twelve. I know for a fact that both Tomer and I have killed ourselves with greed before, so it's fine. Yeah, I've I've done that too. Um, turn <laughs> on creature, no land card. That's... <laughs> no, we'll just make a. Are you gonna wheel? That would be kind of fun. I, I don't think I have wheels in my deck. Let's do this. Discard a Leave card. Leave Verena alone. Let's get rid of. We'll make a treasure. I'll leave your thing alone for now, but I can't kill it when oh. I want to. Ew, but I just don't okay. want to be attacked with an army of zombies is the problem. Okay, I could I could consider not attacking you. That'd be great. I'd appreciate it. <laughs> I'm at 12. <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm at 10, so <laughs> I know the pain. But who can I attack then? Oh, I need to attack to trigger Verena. I don't know. You'll thing. figure it out. <laughs> uh, um, that's Duffy Dow. Yep. All right. That's it. That Your board turn. is wide, though. So if you attack Tom and he makes a stuffy doll and blocks one of them, you're still doing a maximum of four damage to whoever he chooses, and the rest will get around. And I guess that's true. And you have a mana to make a stuffy doll when I attack him with a 7-7 seven, seven or greater. So what I will say I... is that I did just draw seven new cards, and this deck <laughs> is literally called you did this to yourself. <laughs> so I would caution, assuming that there's nothing else I can do. What if it's uh, yeah, all I, I'm yeah. a little nervous. All seven lands, you know, it could happen. Could happen. Mm. Oh, I do oh. have I do have one of one of Tom's favorite cards in hand. I know this this is for a fact one of Tom's favorite cards. Is this is actually silence? so hilarious. Um, no, okay. <laughs> but you'll appreciate it. Hopefully I get to cast it this game. That's all good. Oh, this wheel was so funny. Okay, so um are we dying? How do we do this? No. But this, I think Jen's going to be happy. You're probably going to be a little happy. Tom might not be as happy. I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, you'll see. You'll see. Um. So first, this is five, six, seven, eight. We have nine mana. All right. So we play, <laughs> play this. Okay. Just, just a, just a rhystic study. Oh, no! I this deck too. No! I hate that's not the card. card. That's not the card I was excited about. Ugh! I hate this card so much. And then, I I think I was drawn into like literally the anti wheel. Um, <laughs> Narset? <laughs> Is it no. Chains of Mephistopheles? That'd be fun. Is it Hull <laughs> Breacher and it even, just wasn't even... coded to be banned online? <laughs> it's like perfect for the zombie deck. Uh, and even more perfect for a Sephra zombie deck. Boom. Uh, yes, Grim Hireling is available online. It's one of like the six cards. cards. All cards in their hand increase that many. No! Zombies. zombies zombies all around. It's I like don't... everyone has Field of the Dead. I didn't want any of this. I'm not super so, happy about that. One of the you cards know, I'm discarding, things, but... you could have waited a turn because I'm discarding Gather Specimens right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, would have been great, Seth. That would have been a blowout, <laughs> golly. <laughs> and now I don't have my reach, which is acidic soil. I'm a sad man. The solus one is going to be huge. I had grim hireling and cool cards in my hand. Ah, <laughs> uh, Seth. Oh wait. Oh no. Chat brings up a really good point. <laughs> yeah, this badge sword is going to go off. This badge sword is going to go off. <laughs> <laughs> and Solus one's gonna get huge, should like absolutely ridiculously huge. Should I eat things instead? 
<laughs> the only thing you probably want to eat is this Varina before attacks happen. Well, yeah. And then maybe this ghoul color geese. See, I was I was really hoping Seth would play a couple more zombies anything. before attacking so I could rack those Charmin to death because that would have been very fitting. And Tom, you've already done it in a commander clash, so uh, I, thought you would, I thought you would enjoy it. I would. One, two, three, I would four, not have. five, six, seven. I can hit you for... I can take it down to two. Then he takes one from the Frexy Arena, and if you kill the Varena, he gains no life. And then I can kill him with the Mimic Fatted uh, Stuffy Doll. <gasps> a dead person. Hey, 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 hey. This is... Actually, I don't like we don't these. even have to discard our cards. I don't cards. like these Tomer, schemes. Tomer, we don't have to discard our cards. We figured it out. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. No, it requires Frexy Arena. We have to discard I'm just going to... I'm going to put it in, in your hands, all right? That's, that's mm -hmm. what I'm going to do. That's I'm going to cast correct. a spell. <laughs> That's correct. Can sack I do not. Do Each creature deals one damage. Board, <laughs> Are you going to pay the one? Uh, I have a treasure token. <laughs> that's that's a real question. <laughs> you know how I feel I mean, about. He... You know how I feel about uh, paying the one. I need to set a good example. I'm going to tap this for. Are what? you going to sack a treasure to pay the one? Oh, that's the right. message. Well. Uh, about sending a message, Seth. Well, we can't we can't let this stand. <laughs> Mill me. <laughs> I'm milling me. I think I don't know if that's smart actually, but oh, I wanted a big board of zombies, Tomer. I know. I'm you very did. disappointed about this. Well, you couldn't. You didn't have to sacrifice. You'd live. You'd be alive. <laughs> like, <laughs> sort of. <laughs> Plus, you're going to fight all my stuff down with your surly thing anyway. I don't know what I'll do. Uh, I have a pretty good idea. You know what? Maybe I will mill you. Maybe right. I will. All right. Just a little. Just do it. Would you like a Master of Death, Tom? Uh, no, nah, I'm good. <laughs> but I appreciate the I offer. Thanks for asking. Just, just check in. Yeah. All right. Let's mill some good cards. I can't believe this is only turn nine. And also, Moto hasn't crashed. Those are two great things. Yeah, this is this has kind of been a a grindy a grindy game. Mm -hmm. Would you and like a Verena? That's a great question, actually. What is this? Mm -hmm. Cool things. I'm about to have it does do cool seven things. tutus. Seth, my hand was so cool. <laughs> it's like uh, it's full I mean, recursion. I had Orcus, Orcus, Prince of Undead, <laughs> Victim. Oh, you had a, oh, yeah. If oh, you, you were all set me, for the graveyard. I was, I was excited for you to mill me. Let me tell you what. <laughs> uh, just need the solace one to to get trample. I think this is a really good question. I don't know what the answer to it is. Arena is pretty good. The yeah, looting is nice because I am about to have. Seven tutus. I really wouldn't yeah, mind. It's, it's a, a seven all zombies. Yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm excited for you all. <laughs> tutu zombies. Yeah. 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 See, zombie buddies. <laughs> zombie buddies. I'm just powering up the soulless one. No, that's not what this deck is made to do. <laughs> we're gonna. Uh, the, we're gonna. I was really excited about doll. getting rid of that stuffy <laughs> doll. Finally. <laughs> Tom's on the blast and sack plan. <laughs> That's right. All right, we'll take one. Right, you better not fight this tone bound lich. Oh, if you, yeah, you better not fight it. I mean, it has death touch, so I'm pretty sure I'm not fighting it. Well, let's make some zombies. <laughs> Me and Seth are both hey, some uh, nine. Whoop, That's whoop. great. <laughs> <laughs> You got the better board now. I like how we both take ourselves. We take each other down, Seth. Like, yeah, <laughs> I'm willing. Yeah, to... yeah, Jen and Tom are both at like 30 still. Almost. I'm willing. Yeah, I'm willing <laughs> to take go down to nine just to, just to take you down a little bit lower. Yeah. How it uh, always and then Richard wins. And then Richard, <laughs> that's how it yeah, always it's... goes. I don't even know how Richard's gonna win this game, but he will. He'll find a way. Yeah, he, he, he's lurking just... with a true conviction somewhere. He's actually hanging out near in Tom's area right now. He just pops in mm -hmm. one second. Do you like, all right, I'll take care of this game. 
Um, whenever you just oh no, there's triggers and I have to think about things. I, I, 36, 36 I, solace token. one. Goodness that, gracious. I want to do these things last. Big old zombie. Oh my goodness, and oh, all of Jen's stuff have uh lifelink. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm going to fight the Gisa. No, leave Giza alone. She did nothing to you. I know. She just want to make she just just I'm... wants to make thirty six zombies. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it would be very sweet. I I I I would admit, but I'm gonna make it work for it a little bit. Um, we're just gonna target <sighs> Giza okay. twice. Uh, <laughs> just in case. Uh, I'll just this will be the rest. This is it. There it is. Gets a little bit bigger. Oh, right too, of consumption. More burly. Right of consumption. Right of consumption would be pretty insane with that solo one. Where's the right of consumption? Uh, what's I don't right see of it. consumption? Oh no no chat mentioned it would be oh, sweet. Yeah, I thought I thought Jen discarded it. I'm like oh no. <laughs> I would have saved this actually. I have to go look that card up. It's that's like, like Black Fling, basically. That's also a card that I associate with Tom, strange enough. I guess because it's like Lorwyn block. It's like you sacrifice mm -hmm. and then it deals damage equal to its toughness, or and you gain that much life. Oh, yeah. Did, did you Very see the rumors solid. that we're returning to Lorwyn? <gasps> I would be so happy. I'd be down. Yeah. I'd be that's, so happy. Yeah. Uh, that would be the interesting. Art, some of the artwork in Lorwyn block is my favorite. Like, I mean, it, they have to if, if they have to bring Rebecca Gay back, please, like that. Yeah, that that I need. I have so much artwork of hers now in my in my uh, condo. I have Spell Stutter Sprite right behind me, which is my nice. favorite popper card of all time. Um, I have Bitter Blossom, which isn't hung up yet. Uh, Enchanted Evening is is uh, in my hallway, and it's my my single favorite artwork, my single favorite foil card. Um, so yes, I, I'm nerding out very hard. And they're all from Laura. Do you, do you have any non Rebecca Gay art hanging up, or is it just all, all Rebecca? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, well, uh, behind me, oh no, I forgot his name, Victor something something. Uh, Portal Sanctuary yeah. is behind me hanging out, and then I have a bunch of like, uh, uh, J Jesper Eyes. I don't know how to say his name properly. Jesper Ising. I have some of his artwork Where? up. Where do you get them all from? Like, do you just order prints online somewhere? Or did you pick them up at events? I need to get some some prints at some I, point. I ordered all of them online, and I did so last year's Black Friday event. There was, like, a bunch of sales happening. So there was, like, Original Magic Art is one of the stores online. Um, and I bought a lot of stuff over there. Uh, Rebecca Gay, though, I just – she didn't have any sales, and she – she charges what she's worth. Uh, you could just say that. So, <laughs> and I paid for it half. <laughs> total, <laughs> total, totally worth it though. Rebecca Gay has some oh great art. Oh my goodness, she could just whatever price. <laughs> uh, Victor Adam Mingues, yeah, that's the one. And I apologize if I butchered it. Oh, so Jen has no cards in hand. Oh, but and no graveyard. That necro. The graveyard because my necro. It's actually. I was thinking you're going to be able to reanimate. Yeah, I forgot that necro exile all those. Yeah. You do have a huge solace one. Yeah. If it has haste somehow. Oh, there's no cards in hand. I forgot. <laughs> um, Leave. Would you like Giza to pay the one? Alone. I would Hands have a solace one. I would have a question. Hello. Uh. If we return to Lorwyn, would we re would we get back Kithkin as they were before? Because I believe that was one of the uh, criticisms of the plane. At least Mark Rosewater said that Kithkin weren't resonant with people, and he said like that's one really? of the reasons why he didn't want to return to Lorwyn. I'm pretty sure my mind's a little bit fuzzy on it, but people were saying like they didn't like Kithkin that much. Which well, they're interesting. Lorwyn is wonder... incredibly uh... interesting. They they're all connected mentally. With uh, something called the thought weft, so they can mm -hmm. kind of feel each other's emotions and stuff, and it, like creates it sets a really great sense of community and whatnot, and it allows them to work together as a, as a unit way better. Ah, and then and then when they switch over to like Shadowmoor and they become like highly xenophobic, and they're using like the thought weft as like a like a paranoia engine, 
and like the sen is kind of using like adding like subtle mind control to them in a in a sense too and it becomes like very sinister it's just such a cool i oh, i love it it's such a cool concept oh my god oh my god Oh my god, I love Lorwyn yeah. Shadow Boy so much. Yeah, <laughs> you don't have to tell me about I I was a big fan of Lorwyn as well. I think uh, with the changes in Planeswalkers and stuff, like now that we have a much more prolif- a larger proliferation of them, you could definitely have an identifying character in those planes by just putting, you know, throw an Oko over there, because mm-hmm. that makes sense, and then throw like a Jace and a Koth, and I don't think people would be angry. I want to see Koth again. It's been way too long. Just in general. Yeah, I think he's Ooh. technically dead or maybe technically not dead. Well, the last time I believe we saw a depiction of him was a new artwork for Phyrexian Arena, where he was fighting off uh, a Phyrexian. And I believe it was like maybe he was captured or something and he's like fighting for entertainment. All right. Oh. I am so tempted to kill either Seth or tomer here and i'm not sure who <laughs> how though oh oh if there, oh no oh boy or um, i can just not let jen gain 35 uh, oh this i'm not is seeing so anything i'm not saying anything i've learned my lesson about talking about stuffy to else no no words are coming <laughs> out of my mouth <laughs> uh, uh i think there's no way that i'm currently beating jen's deck as it is so i can't let her gain 35 uh. I was, I was honestly like debating idea. on whether or not I should use the word friend or not use the word friend, <laughs> or if both would just be the wrong answer. <laughs> why Why? Why does chat always yell out my name when it comes to someone who could be killed? What do you mean? They, always, so they always yell out my name. This is a beautiful respite. <laughs> maybe it's because of, maybe it's because of the horrible, horrible uh, wrong turns uh, the beginning of the game was for me. Oh yeah, Jen's also the one that gets to just refill her hand too. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I just connect for ten. I'm gonna face yeah, this looting on my turn. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom had some good cards in Acidic Soil, what? Yeah, Acidic Soil was oh. my reach in this deck. That's a good yeah. gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I, there was, that uh, is a good yeah, one. there was some good stuff in there. Oh, gather specimens. Oh, Tomer the trading post. Yeah. See? Yeah. It is underrated. You've come around. Well, it, it combos with treasure tokens. <laughs> okay. I can I can buy that. <laughs> I was it's like, just what, a good what, card. What's I was thinking like what's a flavorful uh card draw engine in the deck and you know sacrifice treasures for, for card draw seems cool. I tried to keep it flavorful. That is yeah, that is a pretty good engine. Maybe not quite as powerful as Necropotence, but still pretty good. <laughs> like, I try, right? <laughs> <laughs> we but do have the to cute probably factor, how about that? <laughs> try and get rid of this whip of Erebos. I tried with the Hellkite Tarrant, Tom. That's not right? getting rid of whip of Erebos. That's you gaining control of it. Those I are don't have the things. Necropotence out. <laughs> but I wanted to gain some life. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's gonna die here at some point. There's I, a lot yeah, of zombies. Yeah, and everyone is not scary. high life and, totals. And honestly, yeah. that's also okay. As long as it's not me. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> as long as others are dying, that's fine. <laughs> uh, animate dead. Yeah, animate dead going to the graveyard makes sense. Yeah, yeah there's not a lot of. <laughs> I definitely understand discarding that there. one. Yeah, in this. With Necker on the field, it's not so helpful. Mm. But it's helpful in other situations. If I get to, like, use Giza, sack a 35-35 a soulless one, then bring it back, and then do it again. Oh. I mean, that's pretty good. That's, so, that's, that's pretty kind of insane. <laughs> that's a sweet... I really like your take on zombies, John. That's a, that's a cool way to build it. Thanks. I'm actually... So I like when I can get tons and tons of zombie tokens. I'm actually trying to collect one of every unique art zombie token. Oh. Ooh. I I actually started a collection on that too. The long long time yeah? ago. Yeah. Uh I don't know I don't know if I could find it. I'm going to check while uh until my turn. One second. What is what is moment, buddy? 
what what is the hardest the hardest zombie token to find or the most expensive is there any like crazy one or are they all just like 25 cent tokens or whatever probably a couple that are more rare uh, okay probably like the original unset i think had oh zombies. that's oh. i remember that one yeah that's a cool token uh, yeah that one's probably a little expensive but i so i i've been doing this for a while but like if i see them in person i'm not like ordering them online um and cardama jigs sent me when they were doing their metal tokens he sent me a zombie metal token and i love Ooh. it so much <laughs> it's so great so, um, oh, that's awesome. plug, I guess I like cardamom jig stuff, not sponsored hashtags. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys don't know cardamom jigs, look them up. They're great. And the metal token is like, it's like heavy. So like you pick it up, you like drop it on the table. It goes thud. It's amazing. Do I, do I go for this? Oh, beans. <laughs> it's not... <laughs> No, then then Tom will like murder me. <laughs> the problem is everyone to scare their hand. Uh. I'm gonna mull this away. I have revel and riches in hand, and I feel like that's only going to cause. Oh sadness. wait, what? Oh yeah, yeah that seems like a good. problem for you Upkeep, to play. And then yeah, then I die. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm just You'll gonna, be fine. Yeah. Okay. Uh, soulless <laughs> one and a stuffy doll. Uh, it says no. <laughs> it says no. Thank you. Um. Let's just let's just get rid of that. I believe that's a call. Goodbye, Rebel I think Riches. We, it would have been cool. I think oh. we gotta get. Don't pay the one, Tomer. Don't pay the one. Of course, I'm paying the one. <sighs> you draw more cards uh, than Mr. me. This cannot abide. Mister Responsible. <laughs> oh, so I was gonna ask you, uh, Jen, how many how many uh, zombie tokens you have uh, so far? Official ones, maybe a dozen ish. I haven't hmm. looked at it recently. Um, but I have a bunch of, like, if I go to GPs or whatever, and people are selling tokens, I'll buy the zombies. So I've probably got close to a hundred different zombie tokens. Wow. It's an impressive collection. Yeah. What is, what is your favorite Tomer of your zombie tokens, or the the rarest? So I don't have the super rare ones like the Odyssey ones, uh, but the one that means the most to me was I believe I think it was either original, uh, either Avison restored. I think it was Avison restored. There was like a promo, um, and they were foil but double faced foil. And... Oh, were they like oh, yeah. Hell promos or whatever? I yeah. Believe so there was like a foil angel, a foil demon, and I want to say there was a foil. Double faced one. Um, yeah, there's a double faced foil zombie token that I actually have signed by the artist. Oh wow, that's yeah, sick. that's sweet. I love that one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat the, I'm gonna eat the guess. So I'm sorry. Oh my god, I'm gonna eat her again. <laughs> um, dum 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 dum. All right, that's all I do. Yeah, so that that one means a lot to me. It was given as a gift, and um, yeah, I like it a lot. I'm talking about normal two two zombies. I know there's a couple of star stars, and there's some other weird ones, but I I try to get all the two twos, and I mean I know I'm not close, but. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm just going to cast this this little little fella with a treasure token to get him a little beefier. Ooh, who is this? Forsworn Paladin. <laughs> Stop paying the one. Never. <laughs> <laughs> Forsworn Paladin, sweet. It's yeah, it's really good. It's pretty cool. If I wasn't at nine, I'd probably use its ability. <laughs> <laughs> You mean discard a card if you do draw a card, womp womp. Yeah, I do not have the Walking Dead zombie tokens yet. I'm not sure if I want them. No, it 
That's I remember fair. when it was like a whole big thing to mix IP and stuff, and I don't know. I'll probably end up with them at some point. Mm. To complete the collection. Yeah. No attacks. Uh, have fun. Okay. Hmm. Weirdly, depending on Seth, he, I, yeah, because I don't really know what the answer to this is going to be. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Can either. you make like a twenty-five, twenty-five haster into your into play? So I'll block that. <laughs> and and kill me? No, not you. Oh, kill someone else? Okay. <laughs> yes. That's that's more appealing. That's slightly more appealing. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. Should have been more specific. <laughs> Uh, all right, well, now we'll leave that in the graveyard. I have the... Oh, boy. This is... Am I going to die this turn is a question. I could do something really desperate to try to hit a combo and maybe win. But uh, if I fizzle, I definitely just lose. Are you over the Aceraric? I feel like you got to go back. Two, four, six, four, eight, eight, ten, twelve... I'm hell bent. Let's what are go. The odds? You only have sixty-one cards in the deck. I'd have to. I'd have to sack my entire board too. Is a problem. Ooh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, that would be dangerous <sighs> for sure. Yes, that is a, a tiny bit risky. Can you wheel? You gave everybody zombies. No, just wheel. I can't. Just win. Uh, oh, that's interesting. I could do that. Okay, this makes it slightly better. We're gonna. We're. I we, uh, we didn't came here to. Come here to play afraid. We're gonna we're gonna try something That's right. here. Yeah. Uh except we need all of our black mana. Boy, this cabal coffers is still not really doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> still making ex it's... breaking even here on turn ten. It's definitely a bit right, ambitious play. without the Urborg here. No, oh, this card. Oh! Play it. Ooh. Are you doing the shambling gas thingy? Perhaps. Nice. So we take down Liliana. I don't have Chambling Gas though. That is the well, that is the issue well, here. Well, those yield until the draw step because then the marker goes away. Oh, smart. I'll yield until draw step. So we're gonna play Crypt Breaker. Cool. We're gonna play Undead Augur. Oh, are you gonna sack it to go down super low? Oh, wow. uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna see if we can find see if we can find the shambling guest. So draw a card. Uh, oh man, this is gonna get close. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be very close. You control dies. Draw a card. Yeah, that's not it. And. Oh, hey, Let's see down this. Yeah, undead auger is really good. Such it's a good in my zombie. Hand right now. Oh, oh yeah, I <laughs> forgot you have the full. You have the full hand over there, thanks to Necro. Come on, nope. The nice thing is I could also mill it, so I kind of have more shots at it than it looks like. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Not a May effect okay. here. A Marius call, really? You love those MDFCs. MDF MDFCs, of course. Necromancer's Covenant. Oh, yeah. Oh, that card's yeah, so like, sweet. It's yeah. great. I love the Lara Reborn. Oh. I hope you go back to a Lara. I my heart for a Lara Reborn draft. It was I'm so surprised wild. I didn't went back there. I think it's because oh, no. post-Conflux, it's like... They kind of ruined. They, it was definitely a one set story. It was like, yeah. hey, and now everything is nuts. Its entire its entire shtick would have made it so cool, and people liked it. Are shards, and then by the end of the block, they merged all the shards, so it's all like multicolor madness. Mm -hmm. So going back to it, they'd probably have to. I don't know. They probably have to like kind of reset it back to shards. I don't know. But would you really like a cool. an auger? It was really cool to have like a lot of born and see everything merge together, but yeah, going back to it is a little bit weird. 
Maybe they would break all the colors apart and have it be a monocolored set. Mm. Like, they play nice with other colors. Oh, that could be interesting. Little hybrids, maybe. All right, oh, you're no. one. Oh no! Wait, you can still you can sack the rest of your creatures though. You I can don't... still mill it. Yeah, I mean we're going all the way. At this point, we are very committed. Yeah, that's a talisman of hierarchy. That's that's not... we have two mills left. We need. Oh, <laughs> Come on, Chamblee Gast. And they only mill for one each. <laughs> yeah, they're just a little bit small. Okay. Okay. Chambling guest. All right, last. <laughs> Is there any other way for me to? No. Okay. I guess this is it. Well, one out of one out of thirty nine. <laughs> Come on, Tomebound Ledge. Here we go. Here we go. One time dealer, no whammies. <laughs> oh, this actually works. Come on. Come on, magic gods. <laughs> One in thirty-nine. Oh, an MDFC. Oh. That would have been a good one uh, too. You would have doubled your hand. Yeah, my hand's pretty full at the moment. Well, maybe uh, you just don't die. Yeah, maybe not. Ah, good idea. Tomer. That's possible. There we go. All right, Seth, just don't die. Yeah. <laughs> good, good, good advice. Good advice. Yeah. I appreciate. It. Oh, oh, I'm so stupid. No, oh don't. no, I punted. Why? Oh. I could have made a zombie token to sacrifice if I hit it off of the zombie token mill and it's one card deeper. Oh, I shouldn't even do this. Oh, you could have sacked all the creatures to carry and feeder. Oh, no, no, no. That wouldn't have worked. But then they're not milling. Yeah, yeah. They're not milling. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is what I could have done. Exactly I could have played a land and made a zombie, but I don't uh... have a black source to get started. So if I hit it off of this, then I punted the game. Oh, this would be so sweet. I don't even know if I should do it. Do it. I don't want to know. I can't look. Yeah. I can't. Ah. It's there. Oh. Shoot. <laughs> oh. No. Seth, I am so sorry. Actually, wait, no, no. Because I, right I cast and the and I cast and sack the carrion feeder, so I milled one extra. Okay. I don't think it was technically a punt. I mean, maybe it was. It probably was. Imagine but, if you had an Urborg oh. on the battlefield, though. Imagine if I didn't have a horrible horrible cabal coffers <laughs> ruining my mana all game if i had a if <sighs> i blame cabal coffers for this disaster that's fair that's fair <laughs> ne we, never playing that card again never ever it's a bad card <laughs> over overrated <laughs> not not this the cabal oh and now we get to discard the well, if no one attacks me for three turns and I can plus Liliana, <laughs> well, is, I'm is, all set up. This is the magic equivalent of like showing your belly, right? So mm -hmm. that might be a good <laughs> tactic to live. Maybe maybe this actually is the thing that saves you. Yeah, I mean, there's just, just playing this dead. stuffy doll under that mimic bat that can hit you and kill you at any time. They can hit, they can hit anyone. <laughs> Tom, Tom might do that to me. Uh, I don't <laughs> me know, and Tom man. are zombie buddies now because I gave him seven zombies. That's true. <laughs> Are we friends, Seth? Yeah, I, I want I am friends with everyone right now. Cool. <laughs> uh yep. Right. I can't do much for you, but Oh and I have a re Frexian Arena anyway. No, you just <laughs> Can you on. gain me life? <laughs> Can you gain me life? I did that wrong. Wow, I love that you put yourself <laughs> dead to Frexian Arena. It's for the second time, by the way. This is the second not, time a not, Arena has been. Not overrated people. though. Under right. underrated Phyrexian Arena, yes. That's a, a very good commander card. Hmm. Unlike Cabal Coffers. <laughs> Heard it here, folks. <laughs> uh, oh, man, that was so close. I think I probably could have done that differently. Uh, ooh, Risen Executioner. Do you want to pay the one card? Though? At this point, it doesn't even matter. Yeah. I'm so dead before I can do anything. I was wondering if I should run Risen Executioner in my deck, and I didn't, but I kind of feel like maybe I should have. It's pretty solid. I was worried about having too many things in my graveyard to recast it, but maybe that's not worth being concerned about, because it's still just like a lord, even if you just naturally cast it. Mm-hmm.
Come on, let me pay my mana. Thank you. Oh. Wow. That's spicy. Oh, no sack outlet. You can draw your yet. card this turn. You keep killing my sack outlet, okay? <laughs> me? <laughs> Little <old> me? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, a daisy. <laughs> I'm very proud of this badge of sword. That's kind of the game. best I've seen it do. Yeah. It is surly. No death touch over there, right, Tomer? Nope. Okay. Honestly, Tom, if you wanna well, actually, if you wanna get me with stuffy Dow, then I I cannot complain about it at this point. I guess it would be a fitting mm -hmm. end. <laughs> he, he just you just don't want to die to Phyrexian Arena. <laughs> Please kill me before I die to Frexian Arena. <laughs> Someone, oh. anyone. <laughs> well, at least that doesn't have trample. Okay, Tomer, so you see what you need to do, right? With that silly Forest Worm pal Paladin, right? Target creature gets two plus O. Oh. Read it all the way. Ah, yes, Death Touch. Hmm. Oh, I like this. Did you really not know that's what your own card did? No. <laughs> I read oh, the first goodness. part and then I got tired and, and I wandered off. All right. Uh, let me turn off auto yells, I guess. You also fire. did that because I was checking your cards for Death Touch and I totally read the first half and then drifted off and didn't read it all. Okay. Well, that's 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 better than I thought it would be. Whoa, it's a lot of blocks. Yeah, I mean they're good. Jen's gonna gain a life no matter what, so might as well make the most of these blocks. All right, so I'm gonna do this, and then don't do it. Don't do then... it. Gotta Don't use mana from a treasure. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I clicked it and okay, all right. It's a little bit laggy. Moto is barely hanging on. Yeah. Barely. The rest is not going on me. It's wanting me to assign blocking order when they're all the same. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Not damage. Not damage. Not damage. Not damage. Please. Why does Please. it look like it didn't get death? Yeah, it, it looks like we went straight to damage. Yeah, you didn't. I I turned off auto yields. It was fine. It should have been. You fine. didn't give it death touch. Why didn't you give it death touch? I went, went to block it first. Doing, Tomer. I went to block it first. It should stop right here. No, <laughs> is it not? That block? looks like damage step. No, <laughs> it's a damage step, buddy. Oh, I don't have a stop on it. Oh, I don't have a stop on damage. I mean, to be fair, I don't either, and I'm looking at that right now. Oh, I just assumed I had a damage spot. Oh, this is all. Right. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, well. Now we learn. Hmm. It's fine. What, what? 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 You? You have? You have core? You have the course. Hey, I could have. I could have definitely used that soulless one to attack Jen back with, but it's all right. Oh, but you know, you, I didn't kill her, so uh, it is fine. Sure. Now you can use it. No, I. I can't because he needs it under his mimic vat. Right, because I could have put it on a mimic vat, then uh, I could have made two copies, I and then I could have killed like... Jen for us, and then right. you could have won the game. Ah, uh, I thought you were gonna like steal it. Uh, with other no. things. Okay. Well. Well, maybe you. Maybe you have some. I mean, I have a lot of weird cards in this deck. I'm sure something fun will happen. <laughs> or I'll draw land. Either one. <laughs> Stuffy Dow. It's been doing its thing all Welcome game. Welcome back. Who are you talking Hello. there of that? Oh. Okay. Well, Stuffy Dow can attack. Well, so, I have a... Tomer, we're going to try this whole plus two plus O thing again, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to attack you with this stuffy doll, and then you're going to give a creature plus two plus O. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And that's going to deal the damage to Jen. Uh-huh. <laughs> so, so complicated to and get in. And you don't in. have to use a treasure this time. 
But I can just <laughs> block with my Surly Badgesaur. Uh, six you can do both. That's the fun part. <laughs> but I, I, I want my treasures. This... You don't even have any cards. I can block with everything. And then it's a lot of damage. Oh, yeah, that's, I guess that's technically true. Yeah. Oh, shoot, you can. Oh. I forgot that's how this card works sometimes. <laughs> well, coming your way, buddy boy. <laughs> Send it. Stuffy Doll is definitely the card of the game, <laughs> no matter how this ends up. has been dictating. The... <laughs> all right. See, this all works Rawr, out. coming at you. <laughs> this all works out in the end. Put up your dukes. Let's all go. Right. All right. You forced my hand. Wait, we should probably do some math. Wait, Tomer, we should probably do some actual math here. Hold up. Two, four, six, twelve, thirteen, fifteen. I'm gonna press OK. Eighteen. <laughs> Seventeen. That's nineteen. Plus, actually, hold up. You're gonna. I think if you pump. I think. When you, because that risen executioner can't block, I think Jen dies. How so? Way. Is that math correct? I think that math's correct. How does that work? I'm at forty five. Well, you're going to be taking two, four, six, twelve, sixteen. Sixteen. Plus, you'll be taking twenty here, and then Tomer untaps, and with the treasure man and everything else, and this Forsworn paladin, it should be. Almost exactly lethal. I'm pretty sure that's the math. But Tomer would well, actually I have to we'll do the thing out. here. I'll have to see what I draw. But you would definitely have to use your Force Warren <laughs> Paladin pumps here. Why now? Before what? I plus OK. But I, I can just use it when I'm attacking Jen. Right, but you'd be losing out on four damage if you don't do oh, it now. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. okay. I'm turning off <laughs> Your land's on tap. There's no yeah, winner yeah, orb yeah, in play. Yeah. I keep forgetting how it works if I have to sacrifice treasure in your pumps. But you so can think... spend the mana to, to do the thing. Right. <laughs> so I'm going to yield back to you. You okay. Hopefully. got rid of auto yields? Um, It should be fine. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Llama's turn set stop. There it is. Wait. Llama's turn says stop. Yes, it should be fine. We're good. Yeah, you should be able to still activate your guy, right? Yeah, we're good. There, there it is. we go. See? Aha! Look, I'm a, I'm a natural. You got there. All right, there it is. See, that Force One Paladin was the card you needed. Yeah. I'll put it on Clean. All right, bye, boom. And then one more time. Bing. I would like to let it be known that this all this scary happened without my commander, despite me casting it four times. <laughs> that is true. So it's not record. allowed to stay on the battlefield. That was rule number one. If you could have, it would have went Field off. 20, like there was some. Oh, it would have been so yep. good. That's a lot. It would have been so damage. beautiful. That's a that's a good doll right there. <laughs> that's a good doll. All right, well, fan. so I have twenty. I could deal lethal. It is a yes, you can. There's a lot of math that I got. Yeah. Or or yeah. you could just attack Tom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you attack you last turn. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he did attack you with his stuffy doll. I did do that. Yes, that's true. Uh, I sent a, I sent a stuffy doll right at your face. <laughs> All right, let's let's see what I draw. Maybe I can kill both of you. Who knows? You certainly can try. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this card would be funny. This card would actually murder me. I will never cast it. <laughs> um. Uh, <laughs> All right. Uh, you won me over, Tom. Um, happy to do so. Kill me with to stuff kill it me. all by itself. So that's literally all I can do here. I've got a I'm a one act play over here. Yeah. 
All right, we're, we're, we're going for it. We're going. Please, please kill me, Tomer. Hit me for one at least, Absolutely. so I don't oh, edit I forgot the my Seth is still alive. I, oh, this I, is so I want, mean. I want to see. I, I totally to forgot no, Seth is still alive. Make it I... die to Phyrexian <laughs> Arena. Yeah. Make, it, make it a Phyrexian Arena. Come on. Arena. Just, fitting way to happen. end it. Yeah. Mercy. Mercy. Have mercy. No mercy. <laughs> I can't. This is, this is wonderful. All right. Just, what? Just, just send your commander. Just one. No. One damage. That's it. Right. I was like, oh, yeah, you know, he's dead. Right. Not, not yet. Really dead. Tapped out, and we're going to die in upkeep. So. Yeah, upkeep. I mean, it, honestly, give Seth the chance to prove himself there. Right? Yeah. Make him have it. <laughs> and that should be lethal. That was... Uh, 20 plus 6. So 26 damage. And that should work. Mm. Wait, no. All right. No, that's completely wrong. I need to pump again. Yeah, you do. Okay, I can still, <laughs> I can still do that. Like, what are you doing here, <laughs> buddy boy? <laughs> <laughs> Depending I on you a lot. Wait, it, wait, it's still not enough even if I pump one more time. I, you know, she'll be at exactly one. I will help. Oh, right, right, right. No, no. Well, mm. All right. Yeah. All right. I have to use treasures for this. My my precious. Yep. Tell them where I, I will come to Canada. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be awesome. I, I will take you out for a nice dinner and I'll make you pay for the whole thing. <laughs> well, at least you took me out for dinner. I have expensive taste. <laughs> All right. Um, I did what I could. I don't know if it's lethal. Right. That should be exactly one, I think. Who knows? I didn't do the math. <laughs> that was my math that I did before. I think it's correct. It oh! is. All right. Whoa. Okay, All right. Let me do this. Balls in your court. I necroed one too many times, apparently. Yeah, take Orion that, chat. Necro enough. Great job, great job being wrong again, chat. <laughs> this is all your fault. Uh, I don't care who wins as long as as long as chat loses, right? <laughs> Please like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> don't forget. <laughs> all right. Tomer, Tomer's out here negging chat. <laughs> All right. And then Aww. supposedly Seth now dies in his upkeep. Yes. Okay. Let's Is see there if that actually happens. Is there a way out of this? <laughs> what can we oh. die oh, to yes. the Rita? Ha. No, Don't the say Rita. yes. Ha. Master of Death. Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on. Save me. Just Frank die arena. To the arena. Great, great, great magic card. Did not even come close to you killing even me. Cast a That's all on in yourself too. Like, that is all on the master of death. Man. <laughs> Living up to its name. This all right. I'm my going for my zombie buddy. Because I zombie get to keep the stuffy down. doll for some reason. What? <laughs> Why there hasn't there been an end step yet. Oh, oh, no, 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 no end like... step. Right. Unfortunately, it's naming Jen, so right. it's not super helpful. But right, 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 right. Hit my non-existent. You might break Mitko. Uh, can 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 Tom <laughs> seal it? What was the final card in his hand? Chat will get its revenge on Tomer next season. Sorry to say, Jason, that's not going to happen. <laughs> <laughs> So it's a weird one, but I think it means I lose. <gasps> but I have to cast it there. now in case the card I draw next turn lets me win. So... Last one, sack? No, that's dumb. That's dumb. What I'm saying is stupid. Hey, Tomer, it's your turn. I, don't I didn't draw that. an appropriate spell. Or maybe I did. Maybe I'm just the best at bluffing Ooh. that's ever existed. It's probably not the case, but hey, it could probably be. Probably not. Probably not. I'm scared. Goodbye, Stuffy Doll. You did a good job. You did a really good job. 
How much should I attack? You only have two cards in hand, but your your deck implies that it could hurt. This deck um, plays Reflect Damage, it plays Deflecting Palm, it plays Comeuppance. Yeah. Turn off those yeah. auto yields again to make sure. I'm also going to really make sure I have the right stop set here. <laughs> okay. mm. It looks like they're correct. Mm. All right. Trevor mm. in chat has a new good game. Punt or Bluff? Seems like a really solid game. I'm going to take six, and then you can hit me down to an initial one. Yeah, I'll just go for it. We're living on an edge. It's fine. We really are. Let's go. Woo! Oh, whoops. Never mind. <laughs> Thanks. Whose doll hey. is this? I'm going to choose... Homer as the player to take the damage from the stuffy doll. Are you going to lose to the stuffy doll? I don't know. We're going to find out together. I don't know if I can deal that much damage with it. <laughs> uh. Maybe stuffy doll is just insane. <laughs> That's a really good card. It is a good card. I only play it in like combo-ish style deck, so like Blasphemous Act or whatever, but maybe it's just like good enough to play. Right, this stupid painter. Paladin? Forsworn Paladin? It gets that damage through. Aetherize. <laughs> uh, it could be anything, but I feel like the could more be a good turns... time for an Aetherize. Uh, I feel like the more turns he has, the worse it is for me. Yeah, you gotta try to, gotta try to we close gotta, it we out. We gotta force some damage through, you know. All right. Only eighteen. Yeah. <sighs> and you'll take me down uh, to, to two, two from what it looks on like this turn, and then you can take me down to one on your turn. Yeah, it's then... gonna get real close here. But I can't attack you again. Is the problem? No, because. Tom will kill you, do that last one on your upkeep. Yeah, but I like to live dangerously. <laughs> Ooh, deflecting palm would be some nice spice. It mm -hmm. would be. It's in the deck. There's a lot of cards that I could draw here that'd be wonderful. But I'm at seven, so it's going to get... It's... <laughs> it's the rubber. We'll see what happens. If that... You get around your core haven, I feel very comfortable. Maybe I could force a draw. Hmm. No, it's a, it's a triggered ability. I mean, if I don't draw something here, you definitely win the game. Hmm. Well, Tomer, good job. <gasps> Why? How does he win? Because Stuffy Doll's a triggered ability? So I would deal the damage first, and then it would go on a stack, but if you'd be already dead, yep. then hopefully that's You can enough. just tap, deal one damage, have it deal one damage with... Oh, it doesn't have... Yeah, it would have haste. So on would, your turn... He doesn't have... He's not taking damage on his upkeep that I can see. Seth at the Frexian Arena. Because <laughs> I don't no, play you bad can, cards, you can Seth. Oh, oh, got him. Got him. Got him. on his upkeep. <laughs> You have uh, you have enough mana. You can do a stuffy doll now and a stuffy doll on his upkeep. But how does he untap the mimic that? Uh, I missed the tapping mimic that. Never mind. It's very close. There are two cards in hand. Super close. I'm just going to cast Repercussion for fun. With a lot. That's a little trigger, I think. Whenever, yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Tom's going to be like a point of damage short. Literally a point of damage short, yeah. Full send. What a crazy game. I mean, that's okay, though. Um, I'll take it. You need to give 
one of Tomer's creatures first strike on the on the stuff. Actually, that I oh get my him. god, that would have been the answer, <laughs> probably enough. <laughs> well, we're still gonna definitely put Tomer to one for fun. That's yeah. the that's going to happen. That's fair. Actually, I think I might end up killing myself here. Let's see. With the repercussion. Oh yeah. Wait, oh, but <laughs> I have... you control the stack. Wait, I could think... I have killed myself with the stuff you know? Can you? Dealt damage. It deals that much damage. The chosen player it deals one. Hey, what do it? Oh. I don't think it cycles. No, it's not. It's not no. as fun as we want it to be. Hmm. The answer is exactly what we think it is. Good game, Tomer. <laughs> G G. And oh, Paladin has Menace. Oh, that's a good point. Someone mentioned you could just attack with Paladin and bump, and bump them up too. We, no one has read this card the entire game. <laughs> it's too much text, all right? It came out this year. Nobody has time for that. Everyone's like, it's too a one-drop. Too many words. Too many how much, words. How much, tech could a, how much text could a one-drop even have? So much. This is great. I have to deal myself a damage. From dealing my stuff, you know, damage. So stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Pop you up. Pop I wish I could have just drawn this game. That would have been beautiful. Okay. We were close to it. I had a Blasphemous Act in my hand, and I was kind of no. Act. I mean, that's in this deck too. Repercussion Blasphemous Act is in this deck, and it uh, kills people. All right, that's all I got. All right, now I can now I can yield. Good game, Yield. good games all around. GG. Good games. A good game. That was fun. It was actually very fun. All right. That was an interesting. Interesting game. It's definitely a lot of swinging around. Okay. A lot of card draw. Moto's trying to go through the death throws here. There's about to be a bunch of triggers, <laughs> and then we get to choose our favorite opponent. <laughs> I'm gonna give I'm gonna give it to Tom. Tom could have just blown me out of the game with Hellkite Tyrant, but then he he chose not to, and I appreciate you. I gave it to oh, Jen. Yeah. If Tom stole your artifacts, you might have been just like out I would have been out of the game. I would have been at like twelve life and no no artifacts and nothing. I would have been done. The, it's really just inspiring statuary, right? Like the inspiring statue like, let me just cast anything I wanted, which is great. You had so much mana that game. The oh. statuary with the treasures was actually pretty impressive. Yeah, and then the wheel helped a bunch too because I had nothing in my hand. Um. All right. Well. Friends, uh, that was the game. Um, it was. Uh, we'll just go quickly around the table, I guess. If anybody had anything really cool that they want to showcase in the deck, but they didn't, I guess, to showcase in the game. Um, and I'll start with you, Tom. Uh, what, were, what was like some of your favorite things in your deck that you didn't get to showcase this game? Well, this deck also has a Sunforger package. Sick. Yeah. And so, you're a Jess guy. Because uh, like, yeah. yeah, so with Sunforger, you can cast stuff like Deflecting Palm and Mandated Peace from out, from inside the deck, and then no one can ever attack you ever. It's so much fun. Um, so I actually have a Stoneforge Mystic in this deck, and the only thing it can tutor up is a Sunforger, and that's why, because it's just <laughs> Sunforger is super fun in this deck. That being said, the deck is exactly what it looked like. Uh, there's a lot of really fun stuff in here. It's all about... Uh, doing exactly what it basically did, which is you can't really attack into it unless you want to kill yourself. Uh, Jen definitely had the right way of thinking about it, which is what I had to learn over time when playing against this deck, is you have to eat the three damage to deal the six damage. Otherwise, nothing happens and that player wins. So that was definitely mm. the right head to have about it. Yeah, attacking wide with the zombies and sending like, the big thing at somebody else was like a good, a good game plan to just not get totally blown out. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, well, Jennifer, um, we got to see a lot of a lot of cards were drawn. Uh, the lifelink package with it was pretty fantastic. And you got to showcase some of my favorite, like, super nostalgic zombies. Like, there was Solus one, but I also saw there was a Net Nantuko Husk in the deck, too. Uh, so let me know what, what your favorite uh, cards you didn't get to showcase in the deck were. So first, I want to say that I... I absolutely adore that Seth also brought zombies and that I drew my soulless one. That just makes oh, my yeah. heart so happy. <laughs> okay. um, but you guys didn't actually see get to see me do Gisa's ability, right? So the theory is I have a lot of super cheap big creatures that 
have downsides. So, like, Phyrexian Soulgarger is an 8-8 for 3 with cumulative upkeep sacrifice a creature. Well, I can just drop it and then immediately sack it to Giza to get 8 2 2 zombies. Which is pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> or, or like, Rotting Regisaur is in my deck. It's 3 mana for a 7-6. Uh, at the beginning of your upkeep, discard a card. Well, it's not going to be there at the beginning of my upkeep. Uh, and then uh, one of my favorite cards that I love to play in every mono black deck is Contamination. I'm playing Contamination in this deck. Um, so, so during your upkeep, sacrifice a creature or sacrifice Contamination. And whenever a land is tapped for mana, it produces black instead of its normal type and amount. So it's everybody <laughs> else playing mono black when they weren't planning to. Yeah. And it's yeah. so wonderful. That would have black been Tom Blood Moon time, and it hits but... basics. Ugh. Yeah. yeah, that would have wrecked Tom. Yeah. I would have been okay. That If it turned him into swamps, it would have helped me, I think, in my, <laughs> my poor Cabal it Coffers. It would not turn him into swamps. It would like... even turn my swamp and my Cabal Coffers and all of that into it produces black instead of its normal type and amount. It would help Seth, though, because he couldn't tap his Cabal Coffers for mana half the game. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's <laughs> true. <laughs> that would have helped. Oh, that was sick. Yeah. I, I haven't seen Gisa pop off um, in a long time. And I, I, there, was a, there was a part of me that was really hoping for, for that Soul of Swan to just get, like, sacked and making a billion uh, type of games, but... You also uh, could not let that happen. I couldn't though, let that happen. I knew I couldn't so let gross. that happen. I would be throwing it, but also I was like... I, I I do have like heavy nostalgic feelings for like Soul is one and stuff like that. So seeing that actually like be really strong was really cool to see. Um, well, Giza also has a soft spot in my heart because my first commander decks was those precons, the monocolored precons, whatever year that was. Mm -hmm. Um and Giza was an alternate commander in the Omnixilis or whatever it was deck. And I always chose Giza. I always played the monoblock one. I always chose Giza. So Giza was like kind of my first commander, maybe. Oh, nice. And I just, I love when I get to play her. So, yeah. Sick. All right. And Seth, uh, we got to see, I, honestly, this was the most impressive I've seen Tortured Existence ever. Um, the engine was like really cool to see. You yeah. venturing the dungeon at record speed, like literally speed running through it. That was really cool. What, what else? Yeah, Torture doing? Existence. Torture Existence is really sweet with uh, with Sephiroth. We saw that. You can also do something like not quite as good, but kind of similar with like Gravecrawler, sacrificing it every turn. Uh, you got to see one of the combos that was a near miss. Uh, Shambling Gast, Liliana, <laughs> and a Zack Outlet goes oh, infinite because you keep sacking Shambling Gast. So close. And I also, of course, have Rooftop Storm and a Sarak, which also works with zom uh, zombies and also the dungeon plan. You can just cast a Sarak and venture through dungeons an infinite number of times. So that was kind of what I was planning to win the game with. Those combos were like the finisher, uh, basically. Otherwise, I just got a lot of like sacrifice zombies. I think some of the cards I was excited about, we saw like Necromancer's Covenant milled, which is a really cool white black zombie card. Exiles all the cards uh, from a player's graveyard, and you get that many 2 2 zombies. And then uh, for each creature card, in all your zombies, you get lifelink. We got to see the Awaken the Earth while wipe out people's hands. So there were just some fun <laughs> cards. You can kind of justify with Sephiroth, because uh, Sephiroth wants us, like, putting cards in the graveyard. So technically, Awaken the Earthwile, like, triggers Sephiroth if you discard cards. So I think this deck's actually really fun. Uh, I think it's a cool way to build Sephiroth. I don't know if it's the best way to build Sephiroth, but I like that it also uh, can take advantage of a couple of new combos that I really wanted to try out and came really close to uh, pulling one of them off. Mm -hmm. So I like it. Yeah, it was very uh, a very cool showing. Uh, it's something that I definitely want to be uh trying out probably in a future stream of myself or maybe maybe uh, on a different thing as well yeah that was really cool <clears throat> and then and then finally hello uh i was playing kalein and i was really happy with all like the inherent synergies the deck is mostly like half of it is ways of generating uh treasures um a lot of them showcasing the brand new cards from adventures in the forgotten realms which is really fun to uh showcase and just there's like so many really weird synergies with treasures. So my main win conditions, for example, was like Marionette Master and Reckless Fireweaver. One says whenever an artifact enters the battlefield, deal one damage to each opponent. But Marionette Master says whenever a, a, 
uh, artifact is is put into the graveyard, uh, people lose life equal to its power. So those are good ways to drain out everybody's uh, life totals. There's also Revel and Riches and Hellkite Tyrant also just say when you win the game. Um, but then there's also like this like cooler little synergies that I really enjoyed. Like Idol of Oblivion says you can tap. It's a two mana. You just tap it to draw a card. Activate only if you made a treasure uh, a token this turn. And since treasures tokens are tokens, you just like draw a card very uh, efficiently. And there's just like little little things that you don't really get to see that often because uh, black and red or black isn't really known for uh, artifact synergies. But like you know you get to, you get all these little minor little things like Skullport Merchant and whatnot. Uh, that works really well with it. So it was like really just fun to see all the little things come together. Uh, lots of little tiny synergies that I like. Um, but yeah, that's it for the stream, everybody. Thank you so much for tuning in. And of course, thank you so much to Jennifer, Seth, and Tom for joining me today. And uh, definitely, uh, this is something, it was a big treat. Uh, the, the, the four of us have not played together in a very long time. Um, I will definitely try to make this happen again in the future. Well, yeah. Absolutely. Right. Thanks for having me. Yeah. Super, yeah, super, super, super fun. fun. Happy to be here. Um, maybe I'll, if, oh, shoot, I had hibernation in this deck too. Y'all are really <laughs> lucky you never played green. <laughs> Just saying. I was prepared. I had confounding conundrum. <laughs> I had hibernation. I was ready to pounce on a single forest. Not a single one came out. I'll try to I'll try to bring green next time. <laughs> there we go. Good game, y'all. Good game, everybody. And thank Good you for game. joining. We'll be back on the Sunday stream for Backseat Brew. And like and subscribe. And until next time, friends. See ya. Bye.